I have survived 1,000 days in my Minecraft hardcore world, where I have built entire villages, automatic farms, and a whole bunch of other awesome builds. And to celebrate, I've compiled all the episodes into one Minecraft movie. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the story of my first 1,000 days in Minecraft hardcore. I'm not known for my ability to survive. But right now, I'm gonna have to, because I'm playing Hardcore Minecraft. What I am known for is my ability to build. And in this series, I'm gonna build big. Today, we're gonna be doing just that by building up the ultimate farmland. Let's get to work. And I guess we'll say hello to Indy. Ooh, she's such a good girl, hello. But we can't keep getting distracted by the dog. This is Hardcore and we need to survive. So I guess, uh, cue the montage. Nice. Okay, tools acquired. I say, let's loot up this village, because our first goal today is to find wheat, potatoes, carrots, and beetroot. Oh, hi, sheep. Oh, hey, buddy. You trapped in there? I guess I'll let you out. Go on. Go on, sir. You're free. You're free. There we go. There we go. Man, these guys are such morons. Hello, hello. I'm here to take your bed. Yoink. Guess it can't help to get more wood. We're going to need it. Oh, yes, crops. We're going to need a lot, a lot of these today. We'll take these too. You know what? This is hardcore. I'm not going to mess with you today. Ooh, a blacksmith. That could have some good loot. But first, we should probably get this coal. Right, let's get in and loot this blacksmith. I'll be taking these furnaces, that's for sure. But what's in the chest? Ooh, a saddle. Okay. And I'll take this iron stuff too. Nice. We're moving up in the world. Uh, maybe we can get some more iron in this cave. A little bit of easy iron, please. Um, no, 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 no. Yep, we're definitely not going in there. We'll just keep looting the village for now. Uh, two buckets of water. Okay. Sorry, sir. I'm stealing your job. Sorry. He's unemployed now. Ooh, we're building a farmland. So I guess these pumpkins are going to come in handy too. Also, uh, more crops the better. And we'll craft up a hoe so that we can mine some hay bales. This is going to give us a good amount of bread. Ah, oh, yes. Even more hay bales. Give me all the bread. Let's get it crafted. Perfect. Now we can eat. All this bread's going to last us so long. Let's go. At this point, let's grab all the coal that I see. We're going to need quite a lot of stone for today's build, and this will be useful for getting that smelted. Oh, look, the villagers are in love. Oh, oh sorry, Indy, I forgot I left you here. Right, Indy, I'm off to do a bit of exploring, so I'm going to leave you in charge of the village. Okay. Right, let's get a boat crafted up, and then we can just take a little sail around. Hopefully, we can find another village, because we still need to find some beetroot. Oh, look at that first iron. Let's go. Right, let's get sailing. And off we were on our first voyage. And it wasn't long until we stumbled across our second village. Please be fields. Please be fields. Oh, there's no fields. Well, I guess we're going to loot anyway. Sir, I'm going to have to take your job. Sorry. Oh, bookshelves. We'll definitely take these. Right, this village has got nothing. Let's just keep it moving. I think I'm just going to keep sailing and hopefully find another village. Okay, we found another village. The seed is crazy. Right, let's get in, get beetroot and get out. We've got a lot of work to do today. Please give me the beetroot. Oh, we got it. We got it. It's just one, but I'm going to take it. Now I'll take this hay too. More food, more food. Ooh, blast furnace. Unemployed. Right, we've got everything we need. I think let's just head home. That was a pretty productive trip. Now that we've got our wheat, potatoes, carrots, and beetroot, we can start working on the base. So I guess we can find a location first. So yeah, let's head back home. And hopefully Indy's not burnt down the village. Oh, I'm home, Indy. Looks like everything's in order. You've done a great job. Get out the way, sheep. Right, come on, Indy. Let's go find a place to put this build. Indy, what are you doing? Oh, that poor sheep. Oh, this dog is such a liability. Ugh. Right, let's keep moving and find a good location. I want to build on a plains, but this is a little bit too close to that village. I've got big plans for that later on, but that's not going to be in this episode. But I think maybe somewhere over this way could have a good spot. We're going to need quite a big area, which this is. And it's also pretty flat, which is going to be very helpful for our build. We'll just ignore that fire. And I think we'll put the center of the build here. And I think we'll just build up a little temporary base. Don't you worry, we're going to improve this build. And we're going to start by marking out the area. But to do that, I'm going to need some blocks. I'm just going to do a quick bit of digging. Ooh, a cave. Uh, I guess we'll see what's in there. We do need some more iron. Looks like it keeps going down this way. Oh, God, it's a skeleton. Oh, run, run. Oh, he's dead. I should really get some iron armor. But honestly, I'd rather build. Hello, sir. Goodbye. Enough distraction. Let's mine some blocks. Damn it. Still, that should be enough blocks to figure out how much space we're going to need for this build. Which is, of course, going to be the ultimate farmland. And for that, we're going to be making a giant circle, which is going to be 67 blocks wide. So what I think we'll do, we'll mark out a cross shape for that. Then we can take a look at the scale of this build. Uh, yep. 
that's uh, pretty big. But now we've actually got to mark out the circle, and that is going to require a lot more stone. So let's craft up a whole bunch of pickaxes, 10 should do, and mine up a whole bunch of stone. Oh, this is going to take a while. Were you alright while I was down there? Yeah. Okay, a whole bunch of stone acquired. That should be absolutely plenty to get us going. But now it's actually time to build up this circle. I think we'll craft some shovels as well, because I anticipate that we're going to do quite a bit of digging. Let's get building. Now you'd think that building a giant circle in the daytime in a plains biome would be perfectly safe. Well, so did I, until this happened. Oh, I fell. Oh, creeper, creeper! Oh. Yep, that could have been a lot worse. Back to the time lapse. Okay, circle completed. Next up though, we've got to plant our crops. And I think for now, while we're building, we'll just make a little temporary farm. We'll just head out over this way, clear a nice little space, and start making the farmland. Let's go. I think that'll do nicely. I am going to have to remember to tend to these though, or we're not going to have enough crops for this build. Next job though is to tidy up the area inside the circle. I want to get rid of all the grass and get everything on the same level. We'll just get some smooth stone going here. So yeah, I'm going to get this boring terrain work out of the way, and I'll see you when it's done. <laughs> this is going to take a while with stone shovels. Okay, that's the circle all tidied up. I think we'll just quickly go check our crops. All right, a few of them are grown. We're going to need a lot more, though. We'll probably have to come back to you guys a little bit later, because we've also still got a lot of building to do. India was getting resources. You're meant to be watching out. Oh, I better craft some armor. Okay, I can make a chest plate. Sleep first and fight. Oh, they're all dead. Good. I don't want the series to end already. Let me just relax by doing a bit more farming. Right, now I just want to lay out just the last few bits of this build. I think we're going to want a main central building in the middle. Indy, you're in the way, you're in the way. All right, I think this should be big enough. Let me just get rid of this cobble in the middle. Now you can see we've got these four sections here. I think we want to split each of these in half. So I think we'll just bring some diagonal lines across each of these four sections. Mega fast block time lapse. And now you can see we've got eight sections here. And we'll talk a little bit later about what's going to go in each one. Because before that, we've got to start making this place actually look good. Because right now it's just cobblestone on the floor. So let's head back down and we'll figure out how we're going to decorate this thing. I'm going to craft up a few of these stone variants. I think andesite stone and cobblestone. We should have enough of these to decorate these walls. Plus we'll grab some of these leaves so we can add a splash of colour. So what I want to do here is make a sort of broken down wall. Just by randomly placing down these stone variants. And we'll also add a few of those leaves. And then we end up with something like this, which I think looks really nice. The only problem is now we've got to carry it around all over these walls here, which is going to take quite a while. So, uh, time lapse. Right, this place is starting to look pretty nice, but while building that, I did see a donkey. And now I can't do anything else until he's mine. So I'm going to grab some of this sugar cane just so we can feed him a little bit of sugar. And that should help him, I guess, fall in love with us. Look, I just want the donkey to love me, all right? There he is. Hey, buddy, eat these. Oh, he's mad. I gave you sugar. You should love me. Ah, uh, now he loves me. Uh, you are pretty slow, my guy. We might try this other donkey in a second. Oh, wow, this donkey. This donkey can't jump. His jump's only like one block high. Right, you live in this hole for now, and we're going to try out your friend. Right, it turns out his friend is uh, literally just as bad, if not worse. But still, welcome to the family. I'm going to call you guys Harry and Lloyd. If you get the reference, you get the reference. You know what? Maybe I just need one of these guys. We're going to need to find spruce wood at some point, and a horse will be pretty good for traveling. So let's try tame one of these. You may not be the fastest horse in the world, but you're definitely faster than Harry and Lloyd. Oh, and the jump's good as well. Is that a three block jump? Oh, it is three blocks. Okay. You are definitely coming home with me. Oh, I can't get this idiot across the river. Oh, I didn't want to have to do this. Sorry. And you know what? I'm going to let you guys name this horse. If you've got a good idea for a name, leave it in the comments. And whichever suggestion has the most likes, we'll name in the next episode. Right, let's dig a hole. That looks uncomfortable. <laughs> right, you just chill there while I get on with some more work. Indy, you're in charge of the new members of the family. And it was at this point that I started gathering up a whole bunch of crops. To fill up all the fields we needed to, we needed about six stacks of each. And that ended up taking quite a lot of time, but we did get there in the end. Okay, it's a few days later, and I think we got all the crops we're going to need. Oh, I hope this is going to be enough. At this point, we need to start deciding what is going to go in what field. 
Let's take a little flyover and we'll do some planning. So as you can see, we've got our eight different sections here and I want each of them to contain either a crop or an animal. So I think we'll go wheat, potatoes, beetroot and carrots. We'll worry about animals later. But for now, we're going to craft up a whole bunch of hose, grab our water buckets and grab all our seeds because we got a whole lot of farmland to plant. Let's go. Ooh, a wandering trader. Hello. Uh, useless. And there it is, farmland planted. This place is looking great already. Now we've got our farmland planted, let's grab some stuff to decorate it up a little bit. We've already got these hay bales and some pumpkins, but I think I want to head over that way and grab some of those tall flowers. We'll grab a bunch of these. And I think I'm going to want a whole bunch of composters to cover up all the water sources. Cue the wood dropping montage. This should be enough wood for the composters we need. There we go, let's start decorating. So obviously we'll put some hay bales in with the wheat. I like it, I like it. We'll chuck some composters in here and some of these roses too. I think we'll chuck composters in here to cover up the water sources with the beetroot. I think we'll go purple flowers this time. This guy does not shut up. Please be quiet. And then finally carrots, we'll go composters, a few of these roses, and some of these lilacs as well. Nice and colourful. Oh, I think this decoration has really, really helped. But with the fields fully finished, it's time to move on to the animals. And I think to make sure they stay in each of the pens, we're going to need to dig it down one level. So I think I'm going to quickly do that for each of these sections and also fix up the walls. Let's do it. Oh no, we got trouble. There's no choice, we just gotta fight him. Ow! Oh, I'm low on health, just eat. Oh, okay, they're dead. We need to find a cow. We need to drink milk. All right, bucket acquired. Let's find a cow somewhere. I've seen one in these woods somewhere. Yes, there it is. Give me your milk, rip me over this curse. Yes. Okay, crisis averted. We should probably get back to work now. Yeah, so I dropped these animal pens by one and sorted out all the walls. But I would like to get these things decorated a little bit before we move animals in. And to do that, I would like to get some coarse dirt and also spruce wood. So I think we're going to head out on our horse here to go and find those. Because just over there is exactly what we're looking for. Right then, come on, buddy. Let's go. Doesn't look too far away, so it shouldn't take us long to get there. Oh, this isn't good. Just get these out the way. All right, well, it's good to know this place is pretty close to home. I suppose we're going to start chopping down a whole bunch of wood. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to keep dropping trees until I get more saplings. Okay, let's grab some of this coarse dirt and we'll grab some of this rooted dirt and then we'll head home. We can plant these saplings, now we've got renewable spruce wood. And now we can figure out how we're going to start decorating these animal sections. So then we'll make a hole and fill it with coarse dirt, surround that with some normal dirt, and then surround that dirt with rooted dirt. And that makes a pretty cool gradient. I guess we'll put a couple of these patches around. Yeah, yeah, that looks nice, but there's definitely more we can do. Let's start off by grabbing a whole bunch of this grass, and we'll craft some stone buttons, and then just place these randomly like crazy. Maybe a few of these lilac flowers. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I like that. But now we've got to do the other three sections. So, uh, time lapse. Right, these are looking great now, but we are going to need to make some temporary fences. Fence gates, lovely. And a bunch of normal fence. Now with them in place, we can start collecting the animals. I know I've seen cows over this way. Come on, ladies, you're coming with me. Oh, it's almost night time. Please don't fall down there, cows. Right, ladies, you two are going to live in this segment right here. There you go. Welcome to your new home. Okay, quick sleep and we'll find the next animals. I did see a few in this direction on the way to the spruce forest. Oh, yes, pigs. Oh, and another one. Perfect. Is that an arrow on the floor? Oh, come on, pigs. Let's get home. It's not safe out here. All right, you guys are living right here. Don't worry, I'll come back and feed you later. We'll get your head in the same way as before. Definitely see more animals this way. Oh, it's a chicken. Come on, buddy. Let's go. I hear a sheep. Oh, no, he's stuck down there. Come on. You're coming home with me. All right, we're going to have to find one more of each of you because I don't think you two can be that good friends. Oh, we got one more sheep and one more chicken. Nice. Oh, three bones. Right, sheep, you live here. And chicken, you live here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We've got so many members in a new family now. I'm all out of food. Let's craft up some more. Right, now that we've got animals, it's time to start working on the main building. Resource gathering montage.
Okay, that should be enough. All right, it's a few days later now, but I have gathered everything that we're going to need for our central building. You ready to build this thing, Indy? Well, I am at least. Let's go. And here it is, the finished farmhouse, looking super, super nice. I really love these flowers and a roof. What do you think, pig? He hates it. But yeah, have done a little bit more work to this. We'll take a little look inside. No, pig, you can't come in. So yeah, I got a little bit organised in here and sorted out all the chests. Indy made me get organised. We've got a nice little workstation here and some barrels scattered around. And I also planted a whole bunch of trees on the outside. I think this just frames the whole build nicely. Today, we're going to make an overpowered mob farm contained in this giant zombies castle, all in Minecraft hardcore. But there's a lot we need to do to get this mega project completed. We don't even have iron tools yet, which leads us to our first checklist. Gathering resources to build the mob farm itself. We're going to need lots of iron, redstone, and we're also going to need diamonds to make a nether portal so that we can adventure into the nether in search of quartz. There's no time to mess about today. Mining montage! First iron pick. Nice. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, 100 stone pickaxes broken so far, and a whole bunch of loot to show for it. Okay, maybe not this stick. But yeah, as you can see, we've got 31 diamonds, a whole bunch of iron, a whole bunch of redstone, and three whole double chests just filled with blocks. But do you know what? I am sick of using stone tools. And by my calculations, we should have enough diamonds for full diamond armor and a diamond pickaxe. So let's grab these, head back up to base, and get the stuff crafted up. Oh, hello, Indy. You waited so patiently while I was down there. Okay, diamond chest plate, diamond boots, diamond leggings, and a diamond helmet. Let's go. Okay, now I'm starting to feel a lot safer. And we've still got enough diamonds here for a pickaxe, two for an enchanting table, and then I guess there's two spare. But first things first, we have a horse to name. And to do that, we're going to need a name tag. Don't worry, buddy. We'll name you soon. And I think rather than fishing for a name tag, I think I want to trade with the villagers. And the only thing we have to sell right now is crops. So I'm going to quickly do a harvest, and then we can head over to that village over there and get trading. Time lapse. Now it's time to trade. There's our guy. Let's get over there. Hello, sir. Let's do some business. Right, let's get a lack turned down. We're going to need a librarian for a name tag. Yes, he's employed. Oh, no thanks. But mending for 26 emeralds. Um, We're definitely going to buy that. Let's try and get this guy safe. We don't want to lose him. Right, you live in this hole now. Ooh, okay, it looks like you got a friend. We'll put a little roof on these guys. And would you look at that? Perfect trading station. Let's go. And then I spent some time leveling up the librarian. All right, just need to buy this clock here. Then we should unlock the name tag trade. Come on, level up. Yes, there it is. Name tag. Buy it, buy it, buy it. Oh, now we can finally name this horse. I really didn't think this was going to be such a grind. All right, let's grab this iron and make an anvil. Nice. And the name with the most votes from episode one was from Frog Crafting, and they chose the name Taco. Let's go name Taco. There we go. Perfect. And I'll just take this quick moment to say thank you for all your name suggestions. Get out of the way. I'm sure we'll have more things to name in the future. But for right now, we've got work to do. Start with finding a location to actually put our mob farm. I didn't want to have it too close to our farmland base. So I decided a good location would just be on top of this hill. Still close enough that we can see it from our main area. There was a bit of digging to do up here because I wanted a nice flat area to put our farm. And once that was all sorted, it was time to start laying out the floor plan. That way we know exactly what what space we got to work with. So I just want to start by digging out a hole, and this is going to be the space that the mobs fall into. And this will also show us exactly how big the farm's going to be. So let's dig this hole. The hole's all dug out now, so we're almost ready to start building the farm. Ooh, a bee. Please ignore the bottom of that tree. I needed wood for more stone shovels. But before we start building the farm, we're going to need quartz, which means we're going to need obsidian, and to get that, we're going to need a diamond pick. But I don't want to mine obsidian without efficiency, so I think the next job should be to set up a temporary enchanting station. So I'm going to breed up these cows, and uh, I think you know what the next step is.
Sorry, we should have what we need to build our enchanting station now. So we've got paper, books, bookshelves. And now we're going to need a diamond pick because we need obsidian to craft the enchanting table. There's a big old lava pool out this way. Yes, yeah, get the water on there. Uh... All right, time to enchant this pickaxe. Ooh, I'm breaking. Okay. Uh, efficiency four and fortune three. Let's go. Oh, I can't believe it. That's so lucky. Can you believe it, Indy? Fortune three. Oh, that is so, so good. Breaking a hundred stone pickaxes was actually worth it. I think I'm going to ride my luck and enchant a sword as well. Okay, looting two and breaking three. Not bad, not bad. Uh, uh, okay, let's go get some obsidian for another portal. Oh, it's going to be so much quicker with this pickaxe now. Let's go. Oh, I've got to walk to the bottom to get flint. Yoink. May as well grab this redstone too. And I think I'm going to put the pool just in this mountain here. Just underneath where we're building the mob farm. Ooh, the pool's lit. Now we just need a little bit of gold. I do not want to get attacked by those piglins. Oh, I left the gold down the bottom. What am I doing? Just give me that gold. Right, let's get this smelted up so we can make a helmet or something. There we go, nice. <laughs> I look like such an idiot. Ooh. Ooh, a visitor. Well, here goes nothing. Oh god, what is this spawn? What? Three courts though, I'll take that. Oh, let's just try and make this place safe. There we go. Looks like we're gonna have to go over that way. Oh, this does not seem safe. All right, we made it over. I say, nether montage. <laughs> I am so good at Minecraft. Please stay away, Ghast. Okay, let's go home. And seeing as it's night time, there's one more thing that we're going to need for this mob farm. String. Got him. You're dead. Oh god, run. Oh, this is horrible. Okay, that's enough. Oh, we made it home. Oh. Time to start automating mob drops now, I think. So I'm back at the mob farm, and I've spent a bit of time gathering up all the resources that we're going to need to build it. Now, I'm not a redstone guy, so uh, I'm going to be following a tutorial by Shulkercraft. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description, so you can check out that video if you want to build this yourself. But yeah, let's get this farm built. Time lapse. <laughs> The farm's all built up now, and it's looking pretty bad. Hello, little guy. But we'll head up there and take a look at what's going on. Oh, I really need a staircase that leads up to here. But yeah, here we are, and I've got a little stairway that leads down here. And this is where all the mobs drop their loot. We've got, um, basically nothing right now. Okay. And that's because we need to head up to the top here to create an AFK platform. Because if we're standing high enough up in the sky, we won't be loading any of the caves, which means more mobs can spawn. Oh, this is so dangerous. Oh, I do not want to fall down there. Let's AFK for a bit and see what we get. So it's been about 20, 30 minutes now. Let's go down and take a look. Or oh, just don't press anything on the keyboard. I don't want to fall. Oh, we made it down safely. Thank you. I'm hoping for at least a few. Oh, okay, okay. Yo, let's go. This is awesome because the main thing that I was looking for is string. Because I want to replace this ugly tower thing here with some scaffolding. That way we can take it up and put it away super, super easy. I really don't fancy having a big deep slate tower in our world. And of course, we can't make scaffolding without bamboo. So I think I'm going to head out and look for that. And also got an idea for a build to put around this mob farm. And that's going to require a whole bunch of terracotta. So let's head out and look for those things. And off we went on our second adventure of the series. In our brand new trusty chest boat, we had two goals in mind. Bamboo and lots and lots of terracotta. And as it turns out, we have a jungle super close to our base. Oh yes, bamboo, let's go. I'll be grabbing a whole bunch of this. Chest boat loaded. I think I'm gonna keep heading over this way and hopefully find a mesa. I like that island. Could be cool for a pirate build. Oh, is that a mate? Oh yes, I've only been traveling for about two minutes. Oh, we're so lucky to have this close by. Right, before we gather up a whole bunch of terracotta, I wanna find some of that cactus, yeah. Oh, I just broke the cactus with a cactus. Cactus montage. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna plant this cactus now. That way when I'm mining a bunch of terracotta, it's gonna grow and then we'll just get more. Let's get mining. We got about a double chest of terracotta. Hopefully that's enough. But now it's time to head home. Oh, there's our spawn village. We're back. I cannot wait to get rid of that tower. Okay, I've got big plans for all this terracotta. And it is going to require a whole bunch of dyes. Hence all of this cactus. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time sorting all this out. It should be fairly simple now. We've got all the bone meal from the mob farm. Because we've got the flower forest to bone meal all the dyes. So I'm going to get all that sorted out. And then we can get building. Okay, I'm back at the mob farm. And I've got everything that we're going to need. Got a whole bunch of wool and concrete here. Bunch of random stuff. And and a whole ton of dyed terracotta. First step is to grab a colour of each of these and start laying out a floor plan. Alright, floor plan laid out, and as you can see, I've got a different colour for each section. I should probably mention that the inspiration for this build is actually going to be a bouncy castle. So basically just a massive colourful castle. At this point though, I need to start getting this first yellow wall built up. So let's get that done. I forgot to turn the powder into concrete. Okay, starting to get something. I like the different shady yellow on the top. But let's get up there and add a little bit more. I think we'll do a layer of glazed terracotta. And then another of the wool and concrete. And to mix it up a little bit, I think we're going to do some warped wood for the roof. Let's see how that's looking. Yeah, not bad, not bad. We do need to add a little bit more depth to the build, though. I think we'll come to the very front and dig out a hole for a doorway. Right, I think that should be big enough. Now we're going to fill it in with a mix of oak wood and strip spruce. Now just to strip all that spruce... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm liking that a lot. We'll add a couple of lean-tos here for some extra depth at the front. Okay, okay. That looks cool. Added a couple of windows as well. Now I think we'll build up both the towers on either side. Time lapse. Adding those towers has helped the shape a lot. Now I want to get in here and start adding a bit of spruce to this yellow. Adding these trims is really going to help break it up and add a bit more depth. Kind of just winging this as I go. Hopefully it looks all right. We'll actually get some glass on these windows now. And then we'll actually get a trim in above that as well. Okay, this is looking really nice. I like this. I really like that trim at the top. Next up though, we need to start working on these towers. We'll add a few windows on there. And of course, we need to get some big roofs on there as well. Let's get it done. Those windows in there have definitely helped the towers. And I like those leaves for a little splash of colour. I went with orange roofs for the towers using acacia and orange terracotta. I think that contrasts our other colours pretty nice. But looking around at the rest of the build, it's looking a little bit incomplete. So uh, I think you need to start placing a few more blocks. Oh, this place is really starting to come together now. But there's still is more I want to add. Hey, uh, a giant zombie coming out the top here. But to do that, I am going to need a little bit of black dye. All right, let's get a few of these sheep dyed up. Yoink, thank you. And I'm also going to want to grab a whole bunch of this terracotta and some lime dye. Get a whole bunch of this. Because I think I'm going to want to use it to make the zombies face and arms. Oh, that's looking weird, but cool. I like it. Oh, scaling this mountain for like the hundredth time this episode. Okay, let's get this thing built. Zombie time lapse. At this point, I realised I was meant to use green concrete instead of lime terracotta. Ugh. Oh, this guy's looking so cool. But now that we've got our little buddy, we can finally take down that ugly deep slate pillar. Oh, this is dangerous. Don't look down, just keep going up. Oh, this is going to feel so good. Much better. I think our new zombie friend looks happy the deep slate pillar's gone as well. And speaking of our new friend, I'm thinking that he needs a name. So get your suggestions in the comments. I've gone ahead and tidied up the collection area a little bit. And as you can see, it's looking a lot better than it was before. I just stuck with the theme of the build that we've got at the top. But guys, that is all from me today. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Today, we're going to be making a massive life-giving mountain portal, all in Minecraft Hardcore. But there is a lot to do before we can get building, starting with gathering materials for a moss farm. We're going to need a lot of moss for this project, which leads us to our material checklist. Basically just lots of iron. Caving montage. Yo!
All right, I think there's going to be enough iron for the moss farm. Maybe I got a little bit too much. But you can never have too much iron, really, can you? Right, I'm going to get this smelted up. And while that's going, I'll craft up the rest of the redstone materials we're going to need. Oh, we're going to need slime. Off to the swamp we go. I did see one this way when we were exploring last episode. Yep, yep, there it is. All right, slime should be spawning. So let's kill him. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, just eat, just eat. We're healed. Let's kill more slime. Oh, there's a big one. Right, that's enough. Let's go home. Right, I'm pretty sure I got everything. Let's go out and find a place to put the actual moth farm itself. I know I'm going to want it pretty near the portal. And I know I'm going to want to build the portal just underneath the mob farm on this mountain right here. You know what? I think I'm just going to put it inside the mountain. Let's have a little dig in here and see what it's saying. Okay, this isn't good. Maybe I can work with this though. Let's just light this up, build a big platform, and then we've got a safe place to put the farm. Hopefully it's safe anyway. Time lapse. All right, the area's all prepped for the farm. I think this should be okay. But there is one thing that I forgot that we need to make the moss farm. Yep, I, I forgot I need moss. I saw some azalea trees at the Badlands in the last episode. So let's quickly go over there and grab some moss from the lush cave. All right, we're here. Let's uh, dig straight down. I know everyone says you shouldn't, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, look at that. There's all the moss we could possibly need. Okay, that's all we need. Just one. Let's head back home. All right, we made it back, and now we've got everything that we're going to need. Let's get building. All right, the moss farm's all built up now. And if you want to build this one yourself in your own worlds, then check out this awesome tutorial by Puffing Fish. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. But as you can see, the farm's all built up, but it's not actually working. And that's because we need bone meal to fuel it. And of course, we built this awesome mob farm in the last episode, which is going to give us all the bones that we need. So now we're kind of at the point where we need to AFK in the mob farm. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten that we need to name this guy. We'll save that for later in the episode. AFK session at the mob farm time lapse. All right, it's been a few hours and I think we should have enough bones now. Let's go fuel up this farm and get it working. The sooner we do, the more moss we're going to get when it comes to building. Right, let's dump all this in there. Yo, it's working. Look at that. Oh, this is so cool. Let's go. Ah, oh, we're going to have moss for literally days. Well, until the bone meal runs out anyway. I think next up, we're going to talk a little bit about what it is I want to build. So what I'm thinking is we have a whole bunch of different portals all inside this mountain. And I want to do it in a way that it looks like the portals breaking out of the terrain. But instead of the usual portals that you see where the nether's leaking out into the overworld. I want our portal to look like it's giving life, not death. I want to live in a happy world. But we can't build a whole bunch of portals without a whole bunch of obsidian. So I think you know what time it is. Obsidian montage. So after grabbing a whole bunch of obsidian, I started deciding on where I want the portals to be. There were some natural holes in the mountain already, and I thought that's a good starting point for our first portals. But just those alone wasn't enough, so I had to start poking my own holes into the mountain. I want this to be as big as I can make it with the obsidian that I have. And after a whole bunch of digging and obsidian placing, this is what we have so far. But we've still got a whole bunch of work to do, so let's keep it moving. The next step for this build is to start giving these portals a little bit more of a frame. And I think I'm going to want to make this out of diet. Right. Not only is this going to give the portals a better shape, it's also going to make them stand out in the mountain just that little bit more. So let's craft up all of these diorite variants and let's start making these portals look a little bit nice. Okay, first step of decoration is complete. Next up though, I think it's time to upgrade a few of our tools. We've already got a great pickaxe and sword, but now I think it's time to upgrade our axe and our shovel. But for that, we're gonna need more diamonds, so uh, mining montage. Ooh, a diamond. Please be more than one. Four. Oh, and one more too, let's go. All right, let's craft up a shovel and an axe so we can get them enchanted. Oh, I don't want Fortune 3 on that. I want Silk Touch. Okay, let's enchant this stone pick and hopefully get a reroll. Oh, that's still Fortune 3. You know what? I'm just going to enchant them anyway. Oh, I've just realized I can trade with the villagers for Silk Touch. What am I doing? Right, let's just grab everything that we can to sell for emeralds. Then we can head to the village and do some trading. Yo, Silk Touch for five emeralds. 
Okay, we are definitely going to buy a load of these. Um, yep, yep, I'm going to need a few more of these books. Okay, now we can buy a whole bunch of these. Oh my god, I can't bet it's on the shovel. Okay, so let's get a grindstone down, and I guess we're just going to completely waste these enchantments we've just done. Please don't have fortune on it this time. And now I don't have enough XP to enchant the shovel, so we're going to have to go sort that out. Back up to 30 levels again. Let's go get this shovel enchanted. Please be good. I'm breaking efficiency, okay. Okay, shovel and axe fully enchanted. And we got mending on them too. Pretty good. But now we got that out of the way, it's time to get back to work. And I want to start mossing up this mountain. And I want to get little spots like that over there sorted out. So let's head into the moss farm and grab a whole bunch of moss. And I think I just want to grab a little bit of bone meal. We'll craft all this up here. There we go. Now I just want to start placing moss down and bone meal in it. And there we go, a fully mossed up mountain. This place is really starting to look like it's given a little bit of life. But there is still a lot more that we can do. But first, we are going to need to head out again just to grab a few more materials. Because I got a few more ideas for decorating this mountain. And to do that, we're going to need to find a jungle and also a dark oak forest. Ah oh, yes, here's the dark oak. Let's go. We'll grab a whole bunch of these brown mushrooms. A whole bunch of these red mushrooms too. And we're going to need a little bit of this dark oak wood. And now we can head off and find the jungle. This should be pretty easy. We found it before. And now all we need is just a whole load of this jungle wood. Nice. I've got everything that we're going to need. Now we can head back home and start to decorate this place up a little bit more. Now I want to grab a whole bunch of this moss because I'm going to make a whole bunch of mossy cobblestone. Next I want to start working some of this mossy cobble into the terrain. And as you can see, this has set that moss into the mountain just a little bit more. And just made the mountain feel that little bit more natural. Next up though, it's time to name that giant mob farm zombie. I asked all you guys for your suggestions for names in the comments last episode. And I can't believe how many of you had suggestions. But there was one name that was suggested a lot more than the others. And that name is Frank. And not only do we have a lot of great name suggestions, we also had a great suggestion for how to name the zombie. And that suggestion came from Max. And they suggested to build a giant name tag above the zombie. And that's exactly what we're going to do now. And to do that, it's going to require a lot of sand, so I think we're going to make this out of glass. And we're also going to need black dye. But at least now we have an efficiency shovel. Yes, this is so good. Mine up all the sand. Right, I'm going to mine up a whole bunch of this. Then I'll head back home, get it smelted up, and then we can keep building. See you in a minute. So I've got everything we're going to need to name Frank. Oh, God! Now it's time to get up there and build this name tag. Oh, I'm going to need all this scaffolding. Boop. Oh, this is satisfying. Okay, now we just need to get on top of Frank's head. We'll make a little safety platform. I'm pretty sure we'll die if you fall off this while building it. Right, okay, let's get this built. Oh, this thing is looking so, so awesome. Another huge thanks to Max. Oh, I love that so, so much. It's such a good idea. But now we need to continue on the mountain portal. There's still a lot of work we need to do here. So I'm going to head back to the farm and craft up all the stuff that we're going to need. Then we can start chucking in our super nice decorations onto the mountain. I think this should be everything that we need. What do you think, Indy? Yes. Well, I hope she's right, because we're going to start building now. I don't know why she's got such an attitude all of a sudden. So the first thing that I want to do here to decorate is to make some sort of broken trees. So I'll make those out of strip spruce and also some oak logs. Then we'll get some fences, slabs and stairs just to spruce this up a little bit. Excuse the pun. Yes, texture this up a little bit. That looks nice. OK, we've got a nice little shape there, but I do want to add a little bit more colour. And I think we're going to do that by adding a few of these red mushrooms. And then we'll put some birch fence with this as well. Yeah, yeah, carry these spruce fences down too. That looks good. Oh, yeah, that's starting to look fancy. I like that. I think we definitely got room here to maybe add another two or three. The only problem is I've got to clamber up and down this mountain just to do that. Time lapse. All right, these have really helped to break up the mountain. We had quite a lot of green on there, so that's definitely helped. Let's grab some of this brown mushroom and also some jungle wood. And let's start trying to build some custom brown mushrooms too. All right, I think around here will be a good spot. And I think we'll build these in a similar shape to the red ones. But we're going to chuck in some of this jungle stuff too, just to give a little bit of variation in the shape. Then we're going to make the stem out of this jungle fence. And I think we're going to run the stem a little bit further than the red ones. Oh yeah, that looks cool. I like that. I definitely think we've got room to chuck another one in here. 
All right, let's head down and take a little look at what we got. Oh, uh, yeah, I like those. Those mushrooms are cool. Now I want to get a bunch of these dark oak fences and just a bunch more of these colorful blocks. Make a bit of lighting with these fences and lanterns. We'll just put these by all the portals. I think that's going to be enough. No, I think we'll enhance our green with, uh, you know, more green. And we'll run these leaves up and down the mountain to look like bushy vines. Yes, more bushes, more bushes. All right, let's bring the different color here and throw some pumpkins down. And let's start getting some of these warp mushrooms in as well. I think a few hay bales will look nice. A little bit of yellow. I think we'll put these in a few spots on the mountain. And I love these tall pink flowers. We're going to put a few of these on there as well. Okay, just a few more pumpkins here. I can't get enough of these pumpkins. Oh, yes, look how colourful that is. I love that so much. But the way into the actual main pool is looking a little bit weird, so I think we need a little bit of digging here. So I think we actually need to get a functioning staircase working. All right, we've got a nice area dug out here, so I think we're going to come in with these spruce slabs. Yes, that's much better. Next up, though, I want to add a little bit of a water feature. So let's get that done. And here's the finished water feature. I think this looks really, really good with all the dripstone and granite. A nice contrast to all the green again. Oh, this place is looking so cool. What do you think, Frank? But yeah, I think I'm going to call this mountain project complete. I think we've got a really good amount of detail in here. I hope you like the build. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Catch you in the next one. Bye. Welcome back to Hardcore. Yep, it's been a while. But today, we're going to take this stinky train wreck of a village and give it the upgrade these moron villagers probably don't deserve. Aww. But do you know who does deserve it? Me. And do you know what else I deserve? An elytra and shulker boxes. Well, I probably don't, but I seriously do want it and kind of need it. Going to the end, killing the dragon, and then raiding montage. Nice. All right, dragon down. Let's go get our light and shulkers. Oh, baby, we found one. And yeah, I think it might be the world's smallest ever end city. Honestly, though, it's better than nothing. Oh, first elytra. Let's go. Oh, one aircraft rockets. Oh, here we go. It's a bit more like it. Oh, and another ship. Right, let's raid this city. Thank you. Oh, we're finally back. Yep, I'm never coming here again. I hate the end. Oh, crap, he's mad. I'm sorry. But anyway, we're finally home with a whole bunch of cool loot. So I'm going to get all that stuff sorted out, and then I'll be right back. Oh, looks like we got a knock at the door. Hello, gentlemen. It's time to leave. You are not welcome. And you. Bye-bye. But with all that out of the way, it's time to make our first rockets. Because what use is an elytra without rockets? All right, let's drop this down. Uh, I should probably automate this at some point, shouldn't I? But that's for another day. Right, paper, check. And now to make a quick visit to Frank. Hi, Frank. Just here for some gunpowder. Thank you. We'll slap a crafting table down and make a whole bunch of rockets. Ah, oh, perfect. Here we go. You have no idea how good this feels. Oh, so good. Now the elytra, coupled with all our new armor, we're set. Right, let's grab this ender chest. And I want to go and take a look at where we're going to be building today. Now, it's not too far. We have been here in episode one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Here it is. And I think this is the village that I want to transform. Now, obviously, we've got a lot of work to do here. First job, probably this uh, absolutely massive hole. And then we need to figure out a way to actually protect these villagers. Because, um, yeah, I definitely don't want them to die. But I may or may not have plans to exploit them. I mean, trade with them. So they've got to stay alive. Okay, time lapse. All right, so a big part of the terrain's out of the way. There are a few messy patches like here, but I think I'll tidy those up when I'm decorating the area. But if we take a little fly up, you should be able to see, yeah, the hole's all filled in. We've got a nice space here to work with. But I think at this point, the number one priority has to be keeping the villagers safe. And I think the best way to keep them safe is to fortify the village and build a big old wall around the edge. That way, villagers can't leave and bad guys can't get in. And as you can see, I got a whole bunch of spruce to chop. Be right back. All right, that should be enough spruce wood to start off with. But there is one more block that I'm going to need, and that is oak wood. Now, I don't have a farm for this, so I am going to have to decimate a forest. But I don't really want to destroy one that's too close to home. Hmm, this is not oak wood, but this is pretty cool. Ooh, hello. Yep, I'm not going in there. <gasps> Polar bear. Yo, what's up, buddy? Oh, he's mad. Moron. Oh, here we go. Here's some oak wood. All right, let the decimation begin. Yeah, I call that forest pretty decimated. And I got a whole bunch of wood to show for it. That might be enough. That's a lie. It probably won't. But it's definitely enough to get started. So I'm going to fly back to the build site and I'll see you over there. Ah, uh, here we are. Hello, sir. Oof, here's a hole I didn't fill in. Just one second. There we go. Good as new. Right, now I think I want to come over here. Grab a bit of our wood. I want to make a bunch of fences. So let's say that our wall starts here. I want to build up alternating spruce and oak logs and have them finish at different heights. And we'll put fences on top of all of them. Jump down, strip the spruce logs. And how does this look? Oh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. So these need to be at least three high. Three high or two high? Basically, I don't want anything getting in or out. So I think I'll go at least three just to be safe. And then obviously I've got the fun task of bringing this all the way around the entire village. Which, uh, yeah, you can see I've done, um, I don't know, what is that, like 1% of the 
the village. Oh man, here we go. And while I'm building the wall, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to reach 1 billion subscribers by the end of the year. And we're only at 42,000. Seriously though, if you do like the video, please subscribe. And there we go, the wall's all in. You can see it going all the way around the village. Except on this main walkway here, I've left space for an entrance. We'll work on this in a little bit. I think I want to put a building here. I've put the entrance this side because back over this way is our base. Obviously, it's still got a lot of stripping to do. Not that kind of stripping. So yeah, I'll be back once I got all this done. Okay, all the spruce wood is stripped, which means now I want to start working on our entrance. And for that, we're going to need a few blocks. Oh, yeah, everything's fine. Right, so we're going to want a bunch of stone. Ooh, iron. I'll take it. You know what? I always want a bunch of cobblestone too, so I use the fortune pick. Man, who needs an iron farm? This stuff's everywhere. Oh, and a site. I need that too. All right, that should be enough of that. I also want a little bit of deep slate. And this cave doesn't go low enough, so I'm digging straight down. Ah, lovely. We've got some deep slate. Man, digging this never gets old, does it? It's a joke. It actually does. Let me out. Ooh. Right, but with all the stone out of the way, there are a few more bits that I'm going to need from hope. So, uh, yeah, let's go home. And here we are. Let's quickly head to the portal. Out. And in here is a moss farm. Oh, yeah. Look at all that. Right, let's grab some spruce wood back at the base. There we go. And that's probably good. Let's head back. Right, it's going to take some stone and bring it around like this. You know what? You're actually going to have to go. And then we're going to build this up a few more blocks. Hey, you meant to stay within the walls, villager. Like that guy. And that cow. All right, let's check if this is high enough. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Right, I want the next one to be here. So I actually need to tear out a bit of this fence. And we'll build up the same shape again. Now, I want to come in here and start texturing it up a little bit. So we've got moss and then mossy cobble. Then we'll go cobble. And then we'll have some andesite. All right, a couple of towers all in and textured. Let's build up these roofs. All right, looking good, but we do need to keep the villagers in and, uh, well, it's a huge wide open space. So that's not really much use. Hey, but it's going to be an easy fix. Oh, there we go. That's a nice little entrance. We are missing a couple of windows, though. So we'll put one there. Not you. And another one here. Yeah, that does look pretty good. I think we will bring this back a little bit. And I think we might bring these bits out here. Oh, yeah, that's a nice bit of extra depth. I like that. But now that the entire village is all contained, we do still have a major problem. And that is that mobs can still spawn in here. So next up, we got to light this thing up. And that's going to take quite a lot of torches. And right now, I only have 40. So um, I'm going to quickly fly back home and see how much coal I've got. Oh, man, this storage room is such a mess. Oh, coal. One coal. Oh, eight more. And that makes a grand total of... Yeah, one stack and 12 torches. That's not going to be enough. Yeah, I'm going to have to go mining, aren't I? Oh, bruh. Right, that's like a stack and a bit of coal blocks. Let's fortune it and see how much coal we get. Oh, yeah, that's almost three stacks. Right, I'm going to craft up a bunch of these torches, fly back over to the village, and get it all lit up. All right, see you guys when it's done. Okay, we've got an ungodly amount of torches in here now. It looks um, it looks pretty bad. What do you think, sir? You like all the torches? Very good. Have the seed. The next part, though, he's probably not going to light so much. And that's going to be tearing down this entire village. Yeah, guys, I'm I'm sorry about this. But these houses, they got to go. But don't worry, villagers, I am going to rebuild these. And fingers crossed, they look a lot better than they do now. Oh, God, he's mad. And just like that, the village is completely gone. Um, these guys seem to be having a private meeting about it. Ah, but this guy doesn't mind. Pretty soon, this place is going to start looking a whole lot better than this. But before we start building, I want to do a little bit of planning here. And some of you older viewers may know that I can't plan without... Nope, not pigs. Nope, not taco. Come on, where is it? Where is it? Red wool. Red wool. I can't plan without red wool. Guys, it was red wool. Anyway, let's pop down here and start doing a little bit of planning. I want to use this red wool to mark out where the buildings are going to go. And at this point now, I'm kind of wishing that I brought some shears with me. But my thinking is here, I want to front load buildings on this side of the village. And they have this side of the village here be more farmland. But that doesn't mean we might have a few buildings here. We can maybe have a windmill here and then maybe an animal shelter here. Yeah, I like that. But as you can see, there's still a whole lot more wool to place around here. So, um, just give me one second to dig down here. We should see... Oh, okay. Uh, oh, thank God I got an elytra. Uh, plan's done, by the look of things. And as you can see, the buildings are a lot more concentrated over here. Because, like I said, this side's going to be more farmland. Yep, the gag probably took me longer than actually planning, but um, that's besides the point. I would say next up, we need to decide on a block palette that we're going to use for these houses. And I have something in mind. I know that I'm going to want some spruce wood. I'm sure that's come as a massive surprise. And I'm also going to want some dark oak, which I'm not actually sure if I found yet. Have I found dark oak wood yet? I have a feeling it's over this ocean. Yeah, 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 there it is. So let's grab a bit of this dark oak. You know what? I probably want to hang around here and grab some saplings, actually. So I don't have to keep making this journey all the time. Oh, maybe we can have a little tree farm in the village. That might be a good idea. I should write that down. And that's a good amount of saplings. All right, let's get back to base because one more thing that I'm going to need. And that's going to be a whole bunch of stone. So yeah, I'm going to uh, mine a bunch of this and I'll catch you guys in a bit. 
All right, got some blocks ready. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's do some building. But not before I clean up this gag. Stuck the landing, baby. There we go. Right, so let's start working on this first one here and replace all these corners with stone bricks and then fill in the gaps with smooth stone and probably a bit of cobble as well for a bit of texture. But the next step, I'm going to build us up a couple more layers. Nice, we're kind of getting somewhere. We're kind of getting somewhere. And let's run a bunch of slabs around the top here. Then jump up here, put some dark oak logs, just like that. And I think we'll strip these. Then fill in the walls with these spruce planks. And we'll leave some holes for windows. And then all we got to do is chuck on a roof, which for this one, I think we're going to keep quite a shallow pitch. But this is definitely something we'll mix up on the other buildings. Right, so we've got the dark oak trim on the roof here. And the rest, I think we're just going to fill in with spruce. I do think I want to keep most of the roof palette the same, though, on all the houses. I think the main variation we'll have here is in the shape. Okay, there's a basic building here. That's pretty cool. Obviously, we've still got a whole bunch of details to add. But I think detail is going to come in the second phase of building. Or maybe we can put back some of the original village doors. Oh, yeah, reclaiming old blocks. Talk about efficient recycling. Put the door down. You know what? Maybe to make this one a little bit different, we could knock this out and run a staircase up the side here. And there we go. We've got a super basic house there with a bit of individuality with the stairs on the side that lead to a <laughs> that lead to a window for now. We'll change that. But yeah, you can see this is what we're working with. And we just have to do it a whole bunch more times. Probably like 20. Um, I mean, if this doesn't call for a time lapse, I don't know what does. So um, lots of houses building time lapse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. All right, little progress update. So we've got about half of the houses in now. This area here is starting to take shape. And don't worry, I've not got all the details and stuff. But yeah, I thought I'd bring you back just to show you where we're at. Obviously, we've still got quite a lot of work to go. So uh, the next time you see me, I should have all the houses done. One second for you and probably quite a few hours for me. And sometime later, all the houses are in. You know what? That actually wasn't too bad. That was only about an hour. I mean, outside of chopping loads of wood, but it's fine. We should definitely have enough to finish this project now. Like I said before, the next step is decorating these houses. But there is something that I'd like to do first. And that is sort out all the pathing in the village. Because uh, they're looking like a complete mess right now. Uh, yep, I don't want to fall down there. We'll just cover you up. Thank you. So right now I'm torn with the idea of keeping the path block for our path. It does fit the vanilla village theme quite well. But there are definitely some things we can do to spice up a little bit. Now if I grab some of this gravel here and some of this dirt, then I should be able to make a bunch of this coarse dirt. So let's fly back to the village. Oh, this is looking so cool. Right, we'll start by fixing up the entrance here. Definitely want to fill in this hole. Very good. Oh, wandering trader. What have you got for me, sir? A couple of leads and some leather. Lovely. Just what I needed. Right, we'll make all this path. And then on the edges here, I'm going to knock out a few patches and then fill that in here with some coarse dirt. And then when we have a step up, we'll go spree slaps. It will cause dirt. And you know what? We could use one more thing here. And for that, we're going to need to visit someone. Hi, Frank. I've used all the bones. All right, do the moss farm. Right in here, I should have loads of bone meal. Yes. And a few bits of moss, please. Right, so if we chuck in some moss patches here... Bam. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. That looks pretty. Perfect. I'm going to start spreading this around the entire village, though, which shouldn't be too bad. I've already got the resources. Just a bit of manual labor. That's fine. But I think once all the paths are done, it's going to make the village look a whole lot better. And that's before we even start detailing the houses. All right, so gone through and sorted out all the paths now. And you can see the whole thing's looking a lot more tidy. We've got lovely moss everywhere. Sort out a nice little communal area over here. Maybe you can put some markets there or something. Right, let me get to sleep real quick. We don't want zombies spawning in here. By the way, this one's my house. But now we've got all the paths out of the way, I want to start decorating up this side of the village. Like we said before, over here is going to be farmland, so we'll leave that for now. So I'm going to start off by making a whole bunch of glass panes. Okay, that's probably too many. Um, so I need to go around and fill in all the windows with my one billion glass panes. And it's about this point that I asked myself, why don't I just add the glass while I was building the houses? Oh, well, it's a lesson learned. Moron. I'm sorry, you didn't deserve that. All right, windows out the way. It's time to start injecting a little bit of color into the village. Now, I want to make a few of these fences. And maybe above some of the doorways here, we'll knock out these. Place some colored wool. Fences on the side. And I need a door. There we go. That looks pretty. I think we'll do the same on my house. But this time we'll do yellow. Oh, yeah, this is going to look nice. Okay, I don't think I want to do it on everyone. Because like I said before, I want them to all be a little bit individual. So we're just going to put them on a few. Now, if I can pop in here and grab some of this cobble, make a few walls. I want to pop into this area here. And I think I'm going to put a few market stools. So go walls there. Fences on top. And then we're going to make stripy wall roofs. Just like that. <laughs> and that looks stupid. Yeah, okay, that looks a little bit better. Excuse me, sir. This is my house. Look, you can stay, but you must pay rent. Oh, God, he's mad. Right, inventory cleared out. Last steak eaten, apparently. Thank you. And next up, I want to go look for some clay, which I'm hoping... Yeah, 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 yeah. Should be right here. Now I just got to turn these blocks into balls. Yeah, that sounds weird. 
All right, clay balls acquired. Let's get him smelted. All right, I'm bored of waiting now. Let's make a bunch of bricks and now head back to the village. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Oh, I should probably sleep. What did I say about the rent, buddy? Uh, he'll never learn. Right, now that we've got the materials that I need, I want to start popping some chimneys on top of these houses. Uh, that is a weird looking chimney. Why? I thought I'd lit this place up. All right, now we can start building some chimneys. So I think we'll start with my house. So what we're going to do is break out here, build up a little bit with bricks and granite, place a campfire, a wall on top, and surround the fire with trapdoors. And let's take a little look. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yep, all our houses need this. It's just going to make the place feel a little bit more alive. And there we go. Now this should have made an absolutely massive difference, I think. Oh yeah, I think it has. It is pretty nice. I do like seeing things moving. Though maybe not all the people are inside their houses, right? So um, I think what I'm actually going to do is knock out a few of these. Do you think campfires and all of them is maybe a little bit too much? Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. I like that. There is still quite a lot more detailing to do. Excuse me. So I'm going to get to work and we'll bring you back for a little progress update. Okay, I may or may have not got a little bit carried away. So as you may already notice, I've chucked quite a few bushes around and a whole bunch of these flowers too. I've also chucked in a bunch of rocks. I think we've got some more over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've also planted quite a few more trees. We've got chests and crafting tables. These guys have got jobs now. And I also put a bunch of these little plant boxes on the houses. I think that's a nice splash of colour. But there is one last bit of detail I'd like to add to these houses, just to make them look a little bit different from each other. And that is on some of them, add some of these extra slabs. I'm just going to fly up and it's going to land on the house at random, put some slabs across the top, and just keep repeating this until I'm happy. I mean, can you even tell at this point? You know what? It makes me happy, and that's all that matters. But yeah, I think I call this half of the village pretty much done. I may tinker with it a little bit more when I have some more time, but for now, I want to get this episode finishing out, which means we're going to have to start working on this farmland here, which I don't think is going to be too difficult. And I think while I've got these slabs, I'm going to mark out a few paths. So I have one sweeping over like that, and then it'll split off this way, connect to this path, and hmm. maybe we'll have a path come over here. Wait, why am I doing this with slabs? I could literally just be making the path. Oh, why do I do this to myself? So if we take a fly up. You can see we should have some field segments already just done for us. So you guys have seen me make enough paths today. So I'm going to get this sorted out and then we can start working on the fields. Right, I got all the paths laid out. And as you can see, we've got some nice defined sections here for our fields. But I do want to make them more defined by giving them a cobblestone wall around the outside. Oh god, it's an enderman. Just get out, just get out. Now, if I fly back to the base, I think I should have some cobblestone. Or did I use it all making this farmland? Um, oh, okay, I got a little bit here. Yes, yes. I should really make a storage room at some point because this one is uh, pretty embarrassing. Anyway, let's head back over to the village. Oh, I can get a nice sky view coming in now. Oh yeah, this looking so much more alive now, isn't it? I love it. But it's going to look way better once we've got the fields done. So what we're going to do, we're going to add cobblestone borders around the edge of the path. So we'll just keep coming around like this. You know what? This building's got to go. Right, so we've got a cobblestone border for the field here. And what I'm going to do is knock out some of these, replace them with some slabs, because I'm hoping that the villagers are going to come and farm this farmland. I guess the clue's in the name. Right, there we go. We've got some variations in the height here. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to make a second pass and just add some slabs to the top. There we go. And now I've come to make farmland and realised um, I don't have a hoe. So um, just bear with me one second. All right, diamond hoe. And do you know what? I think I'm going to enchant it as well. Because why not? I mean, I'm breaking three. Fine. Um, I guess that's fine. And while I'm here, I'll grab a couple of buckets. And in one of these chests, I should have a whole bunch of seeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. That's what we want later. Right, I think I'll come back for those though. Let's head back to the village. I feel like I've said that about 100 times this episode. Oh, but it's worth it because look at this view. It's so cool. Right, let's grab some water. That was kind of cool. All right, let's make a little water source over here. Put a whole bunch of water all over the place. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying this. I'm sure we all know how to make farmland, right? Oh, I forgot about this massive hole. It's kind of awkward. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. And I'm out of here. You know what? I'm just going to bring you back when the field's planted. And boom, the field's done and planted. Now to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, probably about seven or eight more times. Um, I was about to say I head back and grab the resources for it. Hello, gentlemen. You appear to have got yourself stuck. Guess I'll just knock this out for you guys. And I'll be on my way. Wow, what morons. Right, I'm going to grab the stuff for the rest of the field. And then we'll kick it into a time lapse. Oh, let's go. Ugh. All right, and the fields are in. Oh man, it's looking so nice. And as you can see, I've also been decorating up the place a little bit as well. Got some nice roses lying around. Got a few of these carts carrying hay. You might have to use your imagination a little bit. But yeah, this area of the village really come to life. I love it. But it is missing one thing. And as you can see, I've made a little bit of space for something. But I've gathered most of the materials that I need. Except I do need a little bit of deep slate, which I've actually not used in the village yet. I'm pretty sure I got some in here somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? I'm going to grab more than I need because I think I've got another idea for it as well. And back to the village. Oh yeah, those fields have made a difference. But anyway, let's crack on with this build. Leave your guesses in the comments as to what you think it's going to be. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious, but um, I know what I'm building, so that's a bit stupid. Ignore that. I'll place some cobblestone walls and a few slabs, some dark oak logs. Make sure they're stripped. Then jump back down here. Then I've got to fill in all these gaps with some spruce. Place some trapdoors around here. Slabs in these gaps. I'll cut this off with some deep slate and a fence. And we've got a random tower. Um, yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'm not finished. <laughs> 
And yeah, I'm sure a lot of you guys guessed it. It's a windmill. Of course, what other building would you put in the middle of a field? But yeah, I think it's capped off this area pretty nicely. And one thing that I really love about it is that when you're walking up through the market area, it just gets revealed around this building. Oh yeah, I love things like that. But I did say earlier, I have another plan for the deep slate. Now I want to craft a bunch of stairs. That's only 56. Anyway, but what I want to do is switch out a few of these roofs here by ripping out all this spruce and then replacing it with some deep slate. There we go. Now if I take a fly up here. Oh yeah, that looks nice. I just think a few of these need to change. Because right now it's looking a little bit too uniform. So yeah, let me change out a few of these and I'll bring you back. And there we go. I think that looks so much better. It's given the houses the variety that are needed, I think. But with that all done, guys, I think I'm going to call this project good. You like it, guys? You like your new home? Rude. I think you like it though, right? Yeah, I'm sure they like it. Well, this project's been a massive grind and I can't lie, I'm glad it's over. But I'm really pleased with the end result and I hope you guys are too. This project's been an insane amount of work and I never want to do it again. So if you did enjoy the video, guys, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new and try and reach 1 billion subscribers. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Minecraft has some powerful mobs. The Wither, the Warden, and the Ender Dragon. But today, we're going to exploit the most formidable mob in the entire game, the chicken. Because we're going to use this chicken to make the ultimate chicken-powered rocket farm. Because if I want to fly, I need rockets. But first, we got to pick a location for this build. Last episode, we transformed this giant village. Hmm, maybe we can just put the build around here. What do you think, guys? You want a giant rocket factory next to your village? Uh. Nah, I didn't think so. Maybe we're better off building the factory a little bit closer to Frank. Eh, I'm sure he won't mind. Right, buddy? <laughs> Yeah, I knew it. Maybe somewhere around here would be a good spot. I mean, it's going to require a little bit of terraforming, but that's all right. There we go. It's a chicken-powered farm, not a creeper. Or a skeleton. Um, Yeah, okay, bye. Eh, I should probably sleep first. Ah, rise and shine. It's a new day. Now, you probably all know how to make rockets in Minecraft. But for those of you that don't know... Oh! We'll just fill this in like nothing ever happened. Anyway, um, for those of you that don't know how to make rockets, if you put gunpowder and paper together, you get rockets. Now, luckily for us, Frank's already taken care of gunpowder. I've not AFK'd here in a while. But as you can see, we've got plenty of gunpowder in here. So that's kind of taken care of. But when it comes to paper, we're going to need sugar cane. And so far right now, this is what I'm working with. Yep, this isn't really ideal, is it? Um, so what we need to work on first is automating sugar cane. So let's go figure out how we're going to do that. And it's not really that hard. If we place a piston like this and then power it it breaks the sugar cane pretty simple right well it's probably not gonna be for me because i'm a moron but we need to take that principle and multiply it a whole bunch of times in this area here and that's going to require a whole bunch more resources so um we're gonna have to go caving and right in here we have a cave which i don't really think i've fully explored yet oh god this is dangerous so i'm hoping that means we can find some good loot down here specifically iron and redstone now we're gonna need iron because i need quite a few hoppers but the main thing i am looking for is redstone you're not redstone is there a spawner in here what's going on all more Iron, baby. I don't think we're going to find redstone at this level, so we're going to need to go a little bit lower underground. And this looks like a good way down. Uh, okay, maybe not. And uh, maybe this is a better way down. Yep, it's another dead end. Oh, dear. Still, I'm getting some pretty good loot. Right, that's almost two stacks of iron, but I don't have any redstone yet. Oh! You know what? I'm going to put this on just in case. <gasps> Redstone. Here we go. We're going to need quite a lot of you. <gasps> I don't really need you anymore, but I'm definitely going to take you. Oh, <gasps> it's a geode. Yo. Oh, calcite could come in handy today. I'm going to grab some of this. All right, let's move on. We're not here for calcite. We're here for redstone and more diamonds. Okay, yep, yeah, this is a big cave. I mean, how much redstone do I actually need? I don't really know. Oh, but this cave is cool. Wow, look at this. Oh, but it's not very friendly, but it does have some good loot. And after grabbing all the redstone I thought I might need, I decided to head back home. Oh, okay, we're just about home now. And I did manage to grab a whole bunch of loot. I think we'll put the elytra back on now. Grab this then fly back home and process our ores. So let's chuck all our iron in. And I've got a whole bunch of stuff to sort out. Okay, I'll be right back. And I've just come down to the mine to grab some cobblestone stone and yeah there's like loads of redstone here um we'll just pretend this never happened uh, you know what there's quite a lot of cows here i should probably no no we'll save it for later we'll save it for later so with all this cobblestone all this redstone all i need to do is craft a bunch of planks and then i can craft a whole now oh, screw it Then I can craft a whole bunch of pistons. I am also going to need a few repeaters. So we'll craft some torches. Grab a bit of smooth stone because I forgot to get some. Why am I such an idiot? Oh, run. Why am I so stupid? Well, at least I can make a few repeaters now. Hopefully that's enough. Right, just give me some building blocks. Grab this. And let's start figuring out how we're going to build this farm. Hopefully without dying. God, I'm such a moron. Right, so my plan is to have a row of dirt here. Make a nice spot to put some water in. So we'll fill this in with water. There we go. Right, I'm making a sugarcane farm and I actually forgot to bring the sugarcane. 
So we'll plant the sugar cane along here, put some planks along the side, close off the water. Now we grab our pistons, put them along the top, and that's the line of pistons that are going to break the sugar cane. I think you can all tell where this is going. We put a line of redstone across here, close off this with some more spruce planks, and if I make a lever and send power to this block here, you can see the pistons come out. Oh, I'm such a redstone genius. But we're not going to be using a lever to power this. We're going to be using the infamous chicken. But more on that later. What I want to do now is create the same farm, but mirrored on this side. And just like that, it's in. What we need now is a water system to actually collect the sugar cane. Now, this may seem a little bit weird. But I think I actually want the drops to collect at the back of the build because I've got some plans for the front. And I don't want item collection to really get in the way. I want to put these barrels here then face the hoppers into the back of those like that. And if I plant a bunch of sugar cane here, we'll do the same on this side as well. Right, we'll go lever. Boom. Yep, that looks like it works. I want to try the other side to make sure. I mean, we can forget about that guy, right? Yeah, be fine. I don't mind losing a few drops. I know it's not going to be perfect, but I think this is going to be good enough for me. What I think I want to do next, though, is stack this farm another one or two times. All right, let's get this farm built. Time lapse. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and that donkey, I don't mean to alarm you all, but I think I have made the world's most efficient and best sugarcane farm in the history of Minecraft. I've not tried it yet, but it's definitely going to work. I mean, come on now, look at this redstone. But right, let's stop messing about. Let's actually test the thing. Ready? Oh my god, it actually works. Guys, I'll be real. I was just memeing about this being the best thing ever, but um, I mean, minus these things here. But don't you worry, I'll tidy this up, put some walls up here. Why would I say I'm going to do it? Just actually do it. All right, there we are. Now, obviously, this farm isn't automated yet because we haven't harnessed the immense power of the chicken. But before we get into our incredible chicken power, I think it's time we actually put a build around this farm. Because that's not really looking that great, is it? Oh, it's growing. Oh boy, I'm down to my last 17 rockets. You know what? Let's use the farm now. Make the arduous journey around the back. Pick up this stray sugar cane. Oh my god, it's so efficient. Two sugar cane. All right, paper, rockets. And speaking of rockets, let's throw one of these down. Because I want to use this guy's inspiration for our build. Now, as you can see from this rocket, the two main colors are red and white. Which means we're going to need some red and white dye. Now, if we hop through the portal here in the mod farm we should have a bunch of bone meal and i should have a chest of dyes back at the base there it is and i think for the first time in this world i want to use some concrete now i have got a project in the future which is going to require quite a lot of sand which as you can see i've started gathering up a little bit but we can't make concrete from sand alone we're also going to need some gravel which i think we can get just down here right bro this is so slow can i get aqua affinity on a helmet i mean it got 34 levels and we found some diamonds earlier i say we just give it a go right helmet lapis Ooh, no helmet lapis please yes right, let's take my helmet off combine these two yo that helmet's so good right let's fly back to that gravel and getting this should be a whole lot quicker now oh yeah yeah, that's so much quicker, yo. Right, I'm gonna spend a bit of time collecting some gravel. Well, that was very satisfying. Now just to chill in this boat and collect all the gravel. Oh, that was awesome. Right, back to the base. Right, let's grab some of our dyes. Oh, look at that whole bunch of concrete. And boom. Right, I think this should be enough to get us going. They now have got the really fun task of turning us all into normal concrete. Oh, the joys of Minecraft. You gotta love it. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, I got a whole bunch of concrete now. I'm hoping this is gonna be enough. Chances are it's probably not because I have no idea what I'm building. Which, now I think about it, I should probably have some idea of what I'm building. So... To the drawing board. I think we start off by building a big box around the farm and then add some giant fireworks to signify, well, it's making fireworks. And then we'll leave this bit here as a surprise for later. The chicken. Oh, okay, that was some good planning. Right, let's slap this down. I think I'm gonna grab all the white concrete first. So I think we'll start out by figuring out the size of the box that we're gonna put around the farm. Right, that seems to be wide enough. Then we'll bring it all the way back here. Then all I've gotta do is join it up. And if we take a fly up, yep, I think that's gonna be big enough. Oh God, I mean, there is a bit of train that I'm gonna have to sort out. That's not a big deal. Now all I've gotta do is hope that I have enough white concrete to build this right up to the top. Bro, I'm one sure. Wait, I dropped one. Flying block placement. I did it. Ignore this one. But guys, if we take a quick look, giant white box, check. Please leave, gentlemen. You are not welcome. But now this is used on my white concrete and I want to make some rockets. So um, I guess I'm going to be right back. Uh, at least getting the gravels quick. But this part really isn't. Well, view it is because I've just done it. Now, I think the first rocket I want to build is going to be on the front here. And as you can see, this rocket is white with red stripes. Or is it red with white stripes? So I think what I'm going to do is make it completely white first. And then once I'm happy with the shape, we'll come back through and knock out some of these white blocks and replace them with red. So we'll build up this sort of round shape until we get to the top. There we go. Then I'm going to 
knock out these three here. Run some blocks along this side. Then maybe just build up another two or three layers. All right, I think this should be good. Now let's take a fly away. And hopefully this is a good shape and size. Okay, yeah, I like that. That's pretty good. Looks sort of rocket-y, I guess. Uh-oh, we're in danger. Please die. Thank you. Right, now that I'm happy with this shape, I think it's time to start using some of this red concrete. Hello? Who was that? That was weird. Um, We'll continue like nothing ever happened. I think what I'm going to do is make these two by two squares going up in a diagonal around the rocket. So that would be one layer just like this. So if there's a cube, there's a cube. The next one should be here. Right. And now if we fly back and take a look, we should have a load of blocks in the way. Um, Yeah, I'll just clear this up one second. All right, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got a cool stripy rocket. But if we drop down here again, throw down one of these. You'll notice this rocket has a red roof and the thing I'm standing on doesn't. So um, let's build a roof. Please look good, please look good, please look good, please look good. Hey, you know what? That's actually not bad, not bad. I mean, it looks a little bit blocky and basic, but I'm happy with that. I'm trying to recreate a Minecraft item. What do you expect? So with that one out of the way, I think I'm going to come over to this side over here and start working on a couple of smaller rockets. Now, these ones, I don't think I'm going to go with a diagonal stripe. Might just keep these ones straight, though I may end up changing my mind. There is a slight chance this ends up looking like a candy cane. Right, I think this should be high enough. Just got to put a little reef on here. I think that should do. Eh. I don't know. I think it would look better if it was diagonal. Oh, boy. Oh, God, it's dangerous around here. Just get away. Just get away. Oh, it's dangerous here as well. Right, I'm going to fix that rocket and I'll be right back. All right, everyone, this is looking a lot better than it was before. I fixed up this rocket and made it diagonal. And I've also added some more. So we've got two on this side and we've got two over here. Right, the next thing I want to work on is the terrain out the front here. So you can see I've got a whole bunch of dirt, which means I've got to fill in a whole bunch of this terrain. This isn't going to be fun, but it is going to be necessary because we are going to need a little bit of space for the farm secret ingredient. The chicken. You bored of that stupid chicken joke yet? All right, next up, I want to put some oak logs just around the side of the main building here. Almost there. Then I want to craft a few slabs and run these along the top. Yep, I got to fix that, don't I? Right, and then final stage will be stripping all these locks. And when this is done, it should give the building a nice little foundation. Oh, yeah, 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 that's good, that's good. Minus this mess. But we still are missing a few details on this building. The biggest one being a roof. Oh, where's all my deep slate? Oh, dear, down to the bottom of the mine I go. Thank you. We'll turn it into this polished deep slate. And then make a whole bunch of slabs. And get me out of here. So if I try land on here... Nailed it. I can start putting on this deep slate roof. Now we'll go with a nice shallow pitch here using these slabs. And you might be wondering why I'm using deep slate for the roof. It's because of that little bit on the rocket right there. So that means once the roof is in place, we're going to have all the colours of a rocket included in our build. Oh, it looks like it's ready for harvesting. It's not automatic yet, but it doesn't mean we can't flick this lever. Oh yeah, so many wasted drops. Ah, I bet that's going to trigger some people. Oh well. Right then, I'm going to get this roof in. Time lapse. <laughs> All right, with the roof in, I want to make a few windows. And I don't think these are going to be normal windows. I've got something special planned for this. I'm going to need a little bit of water. We'll place some grass here. Concrete like this. Put water in here. I'm going to cover that up. Oh, please stay away. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Right, just keep building this up. Oh, dear. Right, if I come around the back here and grab some of this sugar cane, should be able to break up the front here. Please let me out. Oh, there you are. <sighs> Anyway, like I was saying, I should be able to come up here and plant a whole bunch of sugar cane all the way up to the top. There we go. Now, I guess this isn't really necessarily a window, but it certainly does display what's in there. But if I fly back down to the base, should have a little bit of glass somewhere. Okay, I have one. Oh, there we go. There's the glass. Right, and let's stain this white and we'll fly back up. You know what? That's actually looking pretty cool. But I'm thinking that if we fill this in with some glass, it's going to look a whole lot cooler. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. Though I do have one more idea. Maybe a little bit of deep slate across the top. Please look cool. Yeah. Yep, that's good. I like it. Right, I'm going to copy that and put it on this side. And there we go. Two windows. Sort of windows. Next up, though, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time for the chicken. We're just going to require a little bit of tidying up. We're going to need this space clear because we need a little bit of space to put our chicken. And if we come down into Frank here, I think, yeah, I've got a few building materials here. Oh, and look, redstone, obviously. You know what? I'm taking it. Now, I want to give our chicken a nice little house to live in. Just like a nice normal chicken barn. Chicken barn, is that actually a thing? You know what? I think I actually want the roof to come across this way. Yep, I think that'd be cool. Then we can bring these slabs across here, these across here. And I think I'll fill this bit in with oak. That way it'll match our foundation. You know what? I think this part of the rocket is going to have to go because I think we fill in this area here with some oak logs and um, we'll strip them and now we've got a nice place for our chicken to go what the hell is going on there anyways next job is trying to find a chicken but not just any chicken come on where are you seriously where are all the chickens there there it is you're the chicken i need protect the chicken at all costs 
You're about to become the most powerful thing in the whole game. Would you believe it, just looking at this guy? No. I need to think of a name for you, you know? If anyone's got any good suggestions for a name for this guy, then um, leave it in the comments. We'll pick one out next episode. Come on, buddy. Come on. We're getting there. This is your new home. Almost there. Almost there. Welcome. Right, Um, I'm just going to shut you in here like this. Now, make the farm work. Uh, Guys, it's... It's not working because we still got more work to do. Yay. But that being said, this shouldn't be too difficult. We are going to need a little something from the base. It should be in here somewhere. Wait, there's a chicken in here. Wait, are you the same chicken? Hmm. Anyway, I need a couple bits of gold to make a gold pressure plate. At least I think I need a gold one anyway. Fingers crossed. Now, if I break in here... No! Right, just get back in your house, please. Right, it's gonna put the pressure plate here and come back out. Now I need to break. Oh, it's dangerous in here. Okay, I probably need to light it up. Die! Uh, there's an enderman up there. Just don't look at him. Just don't look at him. Ah, here it is. Right, so on top of this block is the pressure plate. So we can take the signal from there. Then, in theory, all I have to do. Bruh. In theory, all I have to do is run the signal from here and run it into where this lever is here. How hard can that be? Okay, run it along here. Boom. All right. Oh, oh it worked! I think. Did it? Wait. Wait, I think I know what's wrong. Maybe I'll put a repeater here. Yes, it works! Chicken power, baby! Oh, my genius does actually amaze me. It probably doesn't amaze anyone else, but you know what? Right now, I don't care. Right, we'll just close this off. Hopefully that gives us a little less wasted drops. And then I probably need to light this area up here. Stop people like you spawning, moron. And that should be fully automated sugar cane. All thanks to this guy. Man, what a legend. Like I said before, leave your name suggestions in the comments. Because a chicken with this much power can't go nameless, right? But guys, we can't call this a rocket factory with just paper alone. So that means we need to start sorting out gunpowder. And my plan is to make some amendments to the bottom of Frank. That sounds weird. But it's not like that, trust me. What I want to do is start siphoning off some of this gunpowder here and sending it over to the rocket factory over there. So this is probably going to be a little bit boring. So uh, I'm going to get that done and I'll give you a little progress update. Okay, guys, it has been quite a lot longer than I care to admit. Um, <laughs> Turns out, yeah. I'm actually pretty bad at redstone, but I have achieved what I set out to do, I think. So if we come down here, oh yeah, you can hear it working. You can see here, I set up an item filter. And as you can see, the gunpowder's being shot off into the distance, like all the way down here. And if we fly over here to the rocket factory, come around the back, here we are. You can see we've got the paper in here and the gunpowder coming into here. Yo, let's go. Oh, it's actually working. I'm so proud of myself. But now at this point, there's only one thing left to do. And that's a small AFK session at Frank. Oh, yep, I forgot I got a hole there. Right, I'm gonna have a little small AFK. FK session at Frank here, maybe for about half an hour or so. Then hopefully we can craft a whole bunch of rockets. Right, wish me luck. Right, guys, it's been a little while. Let's go and see what we got. Man, I hope this thing's been working. Okay, we got some bones. Oh, yeah, look, sugar cane's coming in. And we got some gunpowder. Yo, this is pretty good. I'll grab all of this. You know what? We are missing a crafting table. So we'll go plonk this down in here. There we go. And you know what? We could also use a door. So we'll put that right there. Now we should be able to make a whole bunch of paper and therefore a whole bunch of rockets. Oh, this is so good. Oh, wow. Well, what a time to be alive. Well, I'm alive for now at least. We've had some close calls today. But guys, with a whole bunch of rockets crafted, I think I'm going to call this project good. A huge thanks for watching and making it this far in the video. But an even bigger thanks to this guy. I'm sure he loves his job. Anyway, that's it. See ya. I've not taken many risks in my hardcore world, though I have come close to death one or two times. But today, that changes. I'm going to risk everything and challenge myself to defeat my first ever raid. Yeah, that's right. I've never defeated a raid. But if I pass this challenge, I'm going to reward myself. You'll have to wait and see what those rewards are, because chances are I'm going to die and this is a short video. Now, because this is going to be very dangerous, stay away from my villagers! We're going to have to take this step by step, starting with step one, gearing up. And that means we need to make sure we've got everything we need to stay alive. Now, the main things I want to make are golden apples and potions. We've already got some pretty decent gear here. But to stay alive, I think I'm going to need the extra protection. So grab some bottles. We'll fill them with some water. Right, melons. Give me this gold and this. And let the brewing commence. Okay, redstone doesn't do anything. Yep, I'm going to need to go get some glowstone. This should be easy with an elytra. Yoink. Just get me out of here as soon as possible, please. And boom, there we go. And while that's brewing, let's make some golden apples. I have one apple. Maybe I got some more at the village. Oh, yes, I've got three more here. Yeah, let's go. Right, four golden apples. That'll do. Right, is there anything else that I'm going to need? You forgot to bring the potions, you moron. Nah, I'm sure we'll be fine. Nothing can possibly go wrong, right? Wait. Yep, I forgot these. Let's move on to step two. Trying to find an outpost. 
All right, I got no idea where one is, so uh, we're just going to fly out this way. And fingers crossed we just find one. You know what? I'm not sure I've been out this way before. This all seems pretty nice, though. Oh, Mega Tiger, yo. This is, like, one of my favorite biomes. That's free Moxie Cobble. You know I'm taking it. All right, well, this trip is already worth it. I'm glad I know where this biome is now. But I've still not found an outpost. Is that an exposed Lush Cave? What is going on here? Yo, that is so cool. I'm not even sure I found a Lush Cave in this world yet. Okay, on we go. Oh, just over the hill. <gasps> we found one. Oh, I can't believe it. This is so good. Hang on a minute. There's Frank. And over here. Oh, huh, it's so close. Oh, this is awesome. But now that we found this thing, we can move on to step three. Find and kill the banner guy. Now, I don't see any of these banner guys anywhere. Just these normal looking pillager guys. Oh, he's mad. Ow. You're dead. Okay, maybe these guys aren't too bad. I mean, having an elytra and a good infinity pose is definitely helpful. Right, let's jump down here. There's got to be a banner guy somewhere. You know what? I'm going to chuck this on. Oh, hello. Use the trees as cover. Please. Where's the banner guy? They're all not banner guys. Keep an eye on your hearts. Keep an eye on your hearts. Everything's fine. Thank God for good armor. Enchanted guy, you got to go. Right, I've not seen a banner guy anywhere. See inside. Hello? 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 loot. I mean, I'll take the iron, I guess. Well, I guess I'm just going to hang around here killing these guys and I'll bring you back when I find a banner guy. Oh, the banner guy. Here he is. Is he hard to kill? No, leave me alone. Right. We killed the banner guy. So I guess that means we can move on to step four. Hang on a second. What is step four? You know what? I kind of assumed the raid was going to start now. Um, is this the raid? Where are those big, ugly hippo things and the witches and stuff? Just these morons. Uh, guys, I'm not sure this is actually a raid. I've got bad omen. Isn't that what I need? Excuse me, sir. Can you point me in the direction of a raid? Okay. Uh, well, I guess I'm doing something wrong. I'm going to fly back home and maybe just do a little bit of research because evidently I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh dear, the inventory's full. I should probably sort this out. Yep, there's a whole bunch of chests at the video. I'm just going to dump it there. Right, this will do. Dump all this. We don't need it. Uh, get rid of that. No, 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 no. Why is it doing a raid here? Oh my God, just... Get this on. What is happening? What is happening? Oh, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Yo, whoa, what's going on? Wait, my, my village is under attack. What? What's happening? This is my video. Hey! Breaking news. This just in. Blockdown is an idiot. But in other news, the forecast today calls for clear skies. Why won't you help me? Stay away from my villagers. Please stay away. Oh, this is a terrible idea. You know what? I need a light Oh, this is so bad. There he is. It's the end of the raid, surely. Why is the bar going back up? Who's ringing that bell? Oh, God, they're scared. Guys, help me. Someone help me defend the village. I built this thing for you and you're just running away. There's the banner guy. There they are. Stay out of my village. Oh, God. It's the axe man. I don't know what they're called. Oh, dear. The bar's loading again. Please. Oh, this was such a terrible idea. I take it all back. I don't want to do this anymore. All right, let's fly up and see where they are. Please don't be in the village. They're in the village. Oh, my God. It's a hippo thing. It's one of the hippos. Quick, land, chest plate, bow. Let's go. Stay out my village, you stinking hippo. Oh, my God. He's going in. Die. Please. Why is he so strong? Wrong. Oh, one raider remaining. Where are they? Ring the bell. Ring the bell. He's in the village. Die. What do you mean? That's not the end. Please. Don't be scared, villagers. I will protect you. Everything's going exactly to plan. Oh, this is awful. My hearts. My hearts. One raider remaining. Where is it? <gasps> oh, ah, I need it. It's Indy here to save me. Die. Yes. Oh, there can't be more raid, surely. Okay, take it back. Maybe this video is going to be a little bit long. Oh, dear. There they are. That thing has to die. You are the worst. You stupid sky rats. Get out. Oh, the chicken. Oh, God, the hippos are back. Oh, this is not good. Oh, there's another hippo. Right, bye. Aerial attack. Yeah, I'm, I'm just assuming the villagers are all dead. Whoa. Oh, my God. I'm aware I'm not really commentating. I'm just making noises. Oh, I've got no more potions. There's another indie on the floor. An indie of undying. Oh, my God. The rats are back. Oh, okay. I need to be more careful. Oh, they're all in here as well. Brilliant. Oh, these little things are so annoying, man. This is bad. Oh, I just want it to be over. The witch, you die. Please. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. I've done it. And there's an indie. Oh, put it in the hand. Oh, raid victory, baby. Villagers? Villagers? <gasps> You're alive. I have at least one villager. Do we have any more? Did anyone survive? There's another one. We have two. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We'll close this up like nothing ever happened. But now with that out of the way, I get my reward. You might think this little indie's the reward. Well, no. I feel like now I've successfully defeated my first ever raid, I think I get to get my own back on these guys a little bit. And I'm going to do that by building a raid farm. So I'm going to have to catch my breath a little bit and uh, calm down. And I grab some materials and then we can get to work. Do you want a second? All right, raid farm items acquired, and we can shoot off to the build location. So as far as I know, we need to be 150 blocks away from this guy here. And I guess it should be somewhere reasonably flat and not too close to our main village. So um, maybe around here is good enough, just behind Frank and the rocket factory. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense to have it here. And I think the first thing we can start off with here is just flattening out the area a little bit. We need to get the land all nice for the pillagers to spawn. We 
are definitely going to want to fill in this cave area. Because we don't want pillagers in the raid getting stuck anywhere. Because I'm pretty sure that's going to mess up our farm. And I think this should be pretty good. Other than these giant holes that I've left. Right, so first up, we got to dig a 10 by 10 hole. Just like that. And then we got to make it go six blocks deep. Now, for this farm, I'm using a tutorial by Voltrox. I'll leave a link to their video in the description if you want to build this one yourself. I'm assuming this is going to work flawlessly. So um, make sure you check that out. And I need to get an XP farm because uh, my tools need repairing. There we go. Right, next up, we need to grab these trap doors and place a ring of them all the way around the edge. Just flip them up like this. I'm assuming it doesn't matter what way around they are, hopefully. Right, next up, we place some blocks here. Put some fence gates on the top of those. Some more temporary blocks. Then fence gates all around the edge. Then we can get rid of this. Open these up. And then we can put lava here. Okay, this doesn't seem dangerous whatsoever. Okay, now we grab a bit of water. Um... Please help. Uh, yep, this isn't going very well, is it? Oh, I think I need some nether wood, right? The lava won't burn that. Oh dear, in we go. Yep, I didn't plan on coming back here today. Right, just get it, get out. We don't need very much. At least we have Indy protecting us now. That doesn't make me feel a little bit safer. Okay, there we go. Let's go try to clear up this mess. Oh dear. Right, somehow I need to grab that. Okay, is, everything's fine, everything's fine. Please stop. Okay, I think this should be good. That looks to be working all right. I guess we can move on by putting some water in all of these corners. We might want to move you out of the way. Now, next up, we need to dig down 20. 21 blocks. Yep, that's definitely not scary. Now, apparently, we just need to dig out a nice room. Mindless digging is definitely something I can wrap my small brain around. All right, I think that'll do. Okay, next up, we play some chess here. Hoppers pointing into the back. Dirt on the top. Turn it into path. Blocks there. Now, we've got a nice spot to hit those morons. Now, just to dig ourselves a nice tunnel out. And thankfully, I brought some ladders. Oh, I really am a genius. Following the simplest raid tutorial I could find on YouTube. I'm sure no one's surprised that I can't figure this out myself. And boom, we're out. We'll put a trap door on here just so no pillagers fall down. I definitely don't want to die while I'm using this thing. And it seems like that wood's definitely working. That's good. Right, now we've got to move on to the part that, well, I've been dreading. Um, oh, here we go. Yep, it's the villager holding cell, which is going to mean that we are going to need to bring a villager up over here. You can't make a boat out of that. Great. Okay, now we got a boat. They're going to make another composter as well, just to try and lure a villager. But just over here, we got a village. This is actually where we spawned in episode one. Now, is anyone alive? I mean, quite possibly not. Oh, hello. That's my good farmer. That's not really, it's not really ideal. I've got, <laughs> I got a guy trapped down here as well. That's my silk touch villager. Don't want to use you. Ooh, this guy looks like a moron. Fisherman. Yep, you're coming with me, buddy. Get in that boat. Okay, well, say goodbye to your family, villager, because uh, you've got a new job. Once I actually manage to get you where you need to go to. Right, so I think if I break this boat and put this here, he'll want a job, right? Oh, this isn't going well. Just get out of the water, you moron. Yep, you're sort of heading the right way. This is fine. Don't worry, buddy. We've only got to scale that entire mountain. I'll tell you what, get back in the boat. You know what? I think this is going to be very painstakingly slow, but it's probably going to be the easiest way to get him up there. Not actually too far. Oh, I hate villagers. Now, please try not to run back to your village. Good, good. You're going the right way. You want a job? There's a job over here. Is this working? Oh, it is. Job this way. All right, this is definitely going to work. This is great. I guess I'll see you guys once we're at the raid farm. Because this might take a while. Oh, look at him go. He's so majestic. Just assuming he's super excited to start his new job as a, I don't know, raid bait man. Come on, buddy. Your new home's in sight. Just over there. You'll be living next door to Frank over there. That sheep. I don't know, that donkey too. And the bee. Oh, you are one lucky villager. All right, my guy, you can start your new life up in there. All you got to do is just wander in. Please. Please. Yes, he's in. Right, get rid of this dirt. And you do need need a roof, right? Um, tell you what, we'll just give you a dirt roof for now. Right, that should be the farm working, I think. So now we can fly to the pillager outpost. Look for a banner guy. There's one. Kill him. Run. All right, we got bad omen. Then if we fly back here. Oh, raid's happening. Fall down here. And then we should get some guys falling down into this trap. Oh, yeah, it's actually working. <laughs> oh, so good. Did we get anything? Ooh, a couple of emeralds. I mean, that's pretty good. So I guess I'm going to chill here and farm some of these guys. And then when I come back, we can see what we got. Two thousand years later. Well, I've done a couple of raids here now, and we got quite a lot of loot. Look at all these indies. They're going right into these shulker boxes. To be completely honest, I do kind of wish I built this somewhere else. I think maybe a planes would have been better. There was a couple of occasions where the pillagers were getting stuck down here, so maybe off camera I might move this thing somewhere a little bit more appropriate. But I mean, we've got enough tones to be getting on with. I'm not too bothered. But there is one more thing I want to do this episode. So I want to grab a whole bunch of this sand and come up and see Frank. Yep, I forgot I turned all the gunpowder into rockets. Okay, impromptu AFK session. Ugh.
Okay, I think that should be long enough for what I need. Right, Frank, give me some gunpowder. And okay, there's a little bit in there. You know what? Some more would have gone to the fireworks factory as well. Yep, okay, I forgot I got a load in here. And now I can make a whole bunch of TNT. Because now that we got the protection of Indy, I feel like it's safe to go to the nether and try and get some netherite. Yep, I forgot my rockets over here. Ugh, thank you very much. All right, now we're ready. Into the nether we go. All right, so I've got a tunnel just down here. I think all I'm going to do is just dig down. Maybe not that way. Or that way. Or that way. Um, oh, jeez, there's lava everywhere. All right, this way seems pretty safe. All right, so this is level 15. I'm going to dig a massive tunnel going this way. Please, no lava. Please, no lava. Please, no lava. All right, I think this should be far enough. I'm going to place TNT every other block. Um, well, I think you know what's going to happen next. This bow doesn't have flame. Oh, jeez. Yoink. Yep, yep, I'm a massive moron. Right, okay, please don't kill me. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> oh! I saw some! And it stopped. Okay, this has gone pretty well, you know. Other than all this lava. I can deal with that, though. Oh, it's a three. Yo. First netherite, baby. Let's go. Okay, I'm not too sure how much I'm going to get out of this amount of TNT. But with this piece of netherite, it's definitely going to be enough for one thing. Oh, it doesn't burn in lava. Oh, thank you. Oh, my heart sank. Give it to me, please. Oh, thank you. Oh, dear. Right, not too sure how much TNT is left in here. We'll light it and run. Please don't get away. Oh, it's going. And that's the end. You got any more netherite? Oh, don't fly in here. Oh, have I got fire res? I got fire res. Okay, everything's fine. Any more netherite? No. Okay, well, fly back this way. And I guess we'll make another tunnel. Why not? Still got 21 TNT. Oh, run! Block up with TNT. Ah! Eat, eat, eat. Please. Oh, <laughs> what an idiot. We'll block that off. Oh, jeez. Okay, this will do. Oh, hello, sir. You are here for the show? Run! Run! And... Oh, we got a few. Oh, we got quite a lot there, you know. Yo, I'll take this. Please be another four. All right, that's one, two, three. Let me up here, please. Oh, and four as well. There's another one. Yes, let's go. Oh, no, not again, not again, not again, not again, not again. Eat, 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 eat. Let me out. Let me out. Let me eat. Please let me eat. Oh, this is such a stupid idea. Oh. And somehow I've lost that bit of netherite. Oh, God. Oh, I swear I just saw it. There it is. <laughs> oh, my God. What is happening? Yes, I got it. Just get me out of here. Just get me out of here. Oh, the safety of the overworld. You gotta love it. Right, let's get this smelt in. Make a bunch of these ingots. And then I guess just wait for this to smelt. Okay, thanks, Furnace. Now, yo, two netherite ingots, baby. Wait, I need a smithing table. Ugh. All right, two iron and smithing table. You can live, uh, you know, get rid of you. Put that there. Now, two netherite ingots. I think I want to do my boots. These are pretty good boots. And, and I think I'm gonna do my helmet as well. I mean, you know what? Just do it. Just do it. There we go. It's done. I mean, I could have done my tools, but well, uh, maybe I should have done my tools. But it's too late for that now. Right, next thing we got to do is visit this guy. Hello, my friend. We need to give you a name. And that name, The Observer. If you get it, you get it. And if you didn't, I know you didn't watch last episode. But guys, that's all i got time for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye! Minecraft 120 is finally here, and it's added a bunch of new stuff, like new mobs, a brand new biome, oh look, and even new flowers. But there is one thing I'm super interested in, bamboo. That's why today I'm going to build a bamboo farm, so that I can transform this jungle into a beautiful custom village. But if I'm going to achieve all this in one episode, I'm going to need to take things step by step. And step one is going to be venturing out into the wilderness to find myself a jungle. Now, in between episodes, I have been a little bit busy. You'll see I've got a little hole in here, which leads to a ladder, which leads to this torch. Pretty cool, right? Oh, yeah. It also leads to this uh, zombie spawner, which means now I can get some XP. I would have made an episode on it, but you know what? We've all seen it a million times. But anyway, let's hop back in here, grab this bed and fly out over this way, because I'm pretty sure I found the jungle before, and I'm fairly certain I've only really ventured out in this direction. But I guess we're not going to get any 120 stuff. But I'm only really looking for bamboo. Let's please ignore that we have bamboo at home, because I figured as soon as we're going to build in the jungle, uh, okay. Seeing as we're going to build in a jungle anyway, why don't we just go and get bamboo from there? I mean, this jungle isn't looking, not looking that great. But I will come through and grab all this bamboo. Oh yeah, this is satisfying. Right, I want to find myself a real jungle. This is sparse jungle, I think. Oh, jungle. It is still pretty small. Maybe this jungle? It's looking kind of big. Oh, hello. So yeah, uh, well, keeps going over here as well with all the bamboo. <gasps> is that mangrove wood? Oh, this might be the area, you know. I think I'm going to say locate a jungle check. I'm kind of thinking down in this area might be the way to go. I mean, it is going to require quite a bit of clearing out. <gasps> parrot, parrot, quickly seed. Seed me. That sounds weird. Bruh! Oh god! How many seeds does he want? 
Yes! Best friends forever. Okay. Yeah, we'll see about that, buddy. Okay, this is actually kind of cool. Might be getting excited about 120, but I'm getting excited about parrots. But let's stop getting distracted and crack on with step two. Clearing out a big area in the jungle. Time lapse. All right, so I got a nice big area cleaned out here now, and I think that's going to be enough space to work with. So I'm calling step two complete. Now it's time to talk about the blocks that I want to build with today. Of course, I want to build with this jungle with here, but I do want to make some of these bamboo blocks. Oh, yeah. All right, let's place this down. This is a nice little green one. I like it. I like it. Uh, what else can we do with this stuff? Oh, bamboo planks. All right, let's make a bunch of these then. Nice, that looks so good. Can we do anything else? Make a crafting table. Um, so I guess we can make slabs and stairs. Oh, new recipe. Bamboo mosaic. All right, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I like these a lot. Now, there is one other thing. If I make some more slabs here, is it like this, this, and this? Oh, yes. Let me make a bunch of these. I think I want to use these chiseled bookshelves as the floor on our little houses. Because look at that. That's a nice pattern. And it goes pretty well with these blocks here. I'm thinking mainly I want to use the bamboo. So that means we're going to move on to step three. Making a bamboo farm. And how do you make a bamboo farm? Well, you just plant loads of bamboo, right? I mean, surely this is easy. Hello? Oh, hmm. No, sir, I do not want what you're selling. Thank you. You know what? I'm kind of thinking this is going to take a while, isn't it? Oh, geez. Okay, let's move on to step four. Automating the bamboo. Let's just ignore how stupid step three was. Uh, I think I've got a redstone box here. Yes. I was kind of hoping I had some quartz in here. Why don't I check this before I left? Oh, man. All right. I think this means I'm going to have to fly all the way back home because I want quartz to make observers. Now, I learned my lesson from the last farm that I made. For some reason, I thought it'd be really smart to use a chicken instead of observers. And well, yeah, I'm not making that mistake again. All right. See you back at home. Oh, geez. That's a long journey. Now, have I got much quartz? Yes, I do. Okay. This is good. Oh, repeaters. I am thinking I need this. Right, okay, this time I think I should have everything that I need. Now to fly all the way back to the jungle again. All right, here's the mangrove. Let me get an aerial view. I'm lost. Uh oh Damn, dude, this mangrove is massive. Oh, oh, okay, there it is. I think I'm back. I should probably write down my coordinates next time. All right, let's go this redstone stuff in here out of the way. Yep, and for some reason I didn't bring cobblestone. So, um, I mean, I'm a moron, but we all knew that already, right? All right, cobblestone acquired. And now I can spend some time crafting some redstone stuff. I love crafting redstone! Oh my god. Hello. I just wanted a bit of iron. Oh my god. Ew, I wouldn't have enough materials. Oh, finally some iron. Oh, is that a way out? Oh god, this isn't good. But all right, with that, I think I'm going to have enough stuff here to try and automate a little bit of this bamboo. Now, I don't really think I want to do this while we're going to be building. So we'll fly it over this way. Mm, I need a nice bit of flat land for this. Yeah, yeah, maybe we'll come over this way. Let's just clear out a bunch of this dirt. All right, well, I think that should do it. Yep, I forgot the bamboo. Now, I've not really tested this, but I think it's going to be pretty simple. I'm assuming it's just going to work just like the sugarcane farm. So I'm going to have a row of bamboo here, which is growing already. I'm going to put a row of these blocks behind it. Then if we go into our redstone box, grab these pistons, place them behind the bamboo. I think I'm going to do maybe three blocks high here and place that on top of the pistons. Yep, I'm aware this is going to be not pretty. All right, I'm going to throw a few observers along the top here. Bruh. God, I'm such a moron. Yep, this is looking absolutely lovely. Don't say anything. Right, now all I need to do is connect up these observers down to these pistons. Um, and I think that should be it. Just going to throw some more blocks along here. Right, give me this. Place that there. And there. Oh, jeez, it's not working. <laughs> what have I done wrong? I've left my bed. That's what I've done wrong. And sleep. Right, what the heck is going on here, man? Two hours later. Uh. I know what's wrong. Don't worry, everyone. Let's grab a few more blocks. Just got to run them along this way. Redstone on top of here. Okay, this should work. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Idiot. Right, all I've got to do now is mirror this on this side. So I'm going to get that done and then we can work on the collection system. All right, the other side is in and it's time to test it. It's a bamboo farm, not a horse farm, my guy. Okay. Um. Right, so let's plant some bamboo up here. Right, fire. Yes, but right now I'm going to need to tear out all this bamboo because for the collection system, I think I want to use minecarts, which are actually going to run underneath the bamboo. So I'm going to dig out a trench here. All right, that should be good. All right, so we're going to come to the end here and put two redstone blocks, some powered rail. Oh, please line up properly. There we go. And of course, I'm not going to have enough powered rail, am I? Okay, thankfully I got more gold back at the build site. But for now, we'll just check our normal rails over here. Grab some more gold. There it is. Very good. More powered rail, please. All right, another 12 should be enough. You know what? I'm sure we've all seen this a million 
million times. I'm going to get this done, and then I guess I can talk you through how it works. Okay, cue the more on montage. Yep, I'm not off to a good start, am I? Ugh. <laughs> All right, I think everything is in place for these minecarts now. You see, I got a couple of chests here with some minecart unloaders on either side. So this is where the minecart should start. Got one for each side. And they should just bounce up and back. Right, hopefully they make it back up. Oh, yeah, that's working. Right, now if I throw some items on the side here, they should end up in the chest. I think that worked. And okay, nice. Right, now I think we should be able to come. Ow! Look, buddy, you got to go. See ya. But I was saying we should be able to come across here and start placing in our grass. And we'll fill up this wall here as well. Grab a stack of bamboo. And then we should just be able to place it all in here. You know what? Maybe I'll fill up this side as well just in case we get a bit of loss. But guys, I think with that done, we can call step four complete. Oh, we are making some good progress today. We don't have any bamboo yet, but um, I'm pretty sure this is going to work. And oh my, does this thing look magnificent. Oh man, I love building. All right, next up, we're going to be working on an even nicer build. So I'm going to take this dirt here. I'm going to go boom, boom, bring it around the sides and in the front. Then we're going to grab our stone bricks, pop one there. And if we come up here, place one there and then there, we can move on to step five. AFKing until we have loads of bamboo so we can build finally. Yay. OK, step five. All right, well, it's the next day now. And yep, I got a lot of bamboo, which means we can make a whole bunch of these blocks. All right, then. I think I got a pretty decent amount. What's that, like 15 stacks? Yep, I hope it's going to be enough. Oh, I think I'll just let that despawn. Oh, dear. Right, geez, this place is just a massive mess already. So let's get a couple more chests. And I think in here, I want to put all the blocks I want to build with. So we got our bamboo, but we do need to craft a bit of this up into other blocks. So we'll quickly get that done. There we go, a whole bunch of bamboo. Now I'm going to want a bunch of this jungle wood. I have stairs. We'll get a bunch of slabs. Fences. We'll get some gates as well. Yeah, I think that'll probably be good. And one more thing I'm going to want is some cobblestone and this iron. So I want to get a bunch of these vines here. And surprise, surprise. I need some more cobblestone. And I can craft a bunch of mossy cobble. And with that done, that means we can move on to step six. Planning out our first build. Right, now, as soon as we've got a giant mess here, I think I'm going to build like a little storage house just to start off the village. And I think I want to make a base out of cobblestone with a parrot on my shoulder. There we go. Oh, he fell off. Now, I want to come in here and start knocking out a few of these cobbles so I can replace them with this mossy. We'll sprinkle a few slabs along here just to rough it up a little bit, I guess. All right, I like that. It looks pretty good. But now it's actually time to start using some of this bamboo. Now, I'm going to put a little border around the end side here and here will be our floor i think i'm gonna use some of this green bamboo as well actually we'll do a little layer of this one and then we come back with this bamboo again i think we'll do another layer of three nice and then bring it up like this same over here all right we've got a bit of a basic house shape going on here we definitely need a door maybe a couple of windows one on the back and some over here as well now i crafted some of these bamboo trap doors i think these would make some pretty cool windows what does that look like from the outside mm, they should definitely be like this right yeah 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 yeah. next up bamboo door what does this thing look like we'll slap that there okay yeah i like that what are we missing here what are we missing uh yeah, I'm just kidding. I know we're missing a roof. Right, so I think I'm going to bring jungle across here. Right, we'll bring it up here as well. I'm going to put these fence gates underneath to give it a bit more shape. What's that saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. And I think we can give a bit more interest to this roof trim. I'm going to knock out you. I'm going to knock out you and replace these with full blocks. And here, I think we can put a little roof jet out thingy. I mean, I don't know what it's called, but you'll see what I mean when I've done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, right? You know what I mean. And how about we make a bunch of these jungle trap doors? We'll bring it along the bottom here, every other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's looking cool. Right, now to actually fill in the roof, and I think I'm going to use this block here. So we'll just bring these across and back here. All right, last few, last few. There we go. All right, I think that's looking pretty good, right? I like that color combination. The roof is looking slightly bland, though. We'll go well with this block. Some leaves. Eh, it's not bad. There is something else that I'm thinking that does spawn in the jungle. No, it's not sheep. Um, It's not those guys either. We'll just go this way. See ya. Come on, where is it? Where is it? <gasps> Yes, melons. All right, melon time. Right, let's hop back on this roof. I think we'll just knock out a few little patches here. Put a few melons in. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. All right, now all I want to do here is just add a few more details. So we're going to add a little shelter over the door. There we go. I think I'm going to knock out these ones here and replace them with this bamboo mosaic. I mean, that's very subtle, but it works. I'm going to pop back on this roof again and add some of these fences and gates for an extra bit of trim. And that's looking 
pretty nice. I'm reasonably happy with this, but it does kind of feel like it's missing something. And I really want to get this one nailed down because, well, the rest of the village is going to follow this formula. So I got to get this one right. Um, Now I might have an idea. Let's make a bunch of these bamboo fences and a bunch of these gates as well, I guess. What do these look like? Ooh, oh, I like those a lot. They're really cool. Right, what if I bring some fences up this way? Keep coming up. I will also do some more here. Maybe one more layer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, now we'll bring in the gates to act as supports. Nice. Maybe around here as well. Yep, good, good. Right, let's take a quick look. Oh, yeah, that's adding something. I like that. I'm trying to make some sort of jungly looking watchtower kind of thing. Right, in my head, this is going to look right, but it's still does definitely need some work so i think we'll put some jungle slabs on top here and then can i yes do something like this all the way around oh yeah that's pretty good you know what make this pop off though is a flag yep i want that i want that now there was that mangrove biome close by earlier on right let me make sure i got enough rockets and i think it was over this way yes there it is right i've never chopped one of these down before so this is gonna be a first for me hell yeah this is awesome oh right yeah i can see why people were saying these are a pain to chop down now but you know what luckily for me i do not mind ruining this biome just get me the wood and let me out while i'm here i'm gonna get a bunch of this mud as well i don't think i've ever used this before in a build and i guess now seems like a good time right the heck is this muddy mangrove roots yeah i'll take it okay well i guess i'll just leave this mess here okay bye all right let's put this mud away for later and mangrove wood okay i'll just land on top of here nailed it right so let's go fence fence okay god this is horrible what am i doing okay one last trap door and i'm gonna get rid of this and hope it looks good yo okay that actually is pretty decent yeah i like that and with that done i had a set style for this jungle village which meant i could move on to step seven placing a whole bunch more of these bamboo blocks time lapse <laughs> Right, this place is really starting to take shape now. You can see I've added a few more buildings in here and also a whole bunch of these watchtowers. Now, some of these towers, I did change my mind and change the top to some of these things. I did originally have them all as flags, but it was just kind of too many flags, you know? And then this one here, I tried to make like a little bridge thing with a ladder going up. But if we head inside, you'll see, well, there is no inside yet. But we're going to get onto that, don't you worry. Next up though, I want to start getting a bit of life into this build. And I think the first thing I want to do is get a few paths in. That way we're going to know what space we've got to work with. So we have to dig up some area for some path so i just need to do a little bit of digging just a bit more over here right here we go we just need to fill it in with something next i'm thinking i got all that mud before right so why don't we try and mess around with some of this um wait what do i do with this stuff i thought it made brown blocks right moments later oh geez we've got to combine it with wheat oh right give me some more rockets we're flying home all right here we are the village god and it's not safe bro i can't sleep oh God, get out my village. And you, bye-bye. Right, get me to bed. Ah, oh, lovely morning, lovely morning. Right, I got all this mud, I need a bunch of wheat. And luckily for me, I got some big old wheat fields. So um, let's harvest some wheat. All right, I think that's going to be enough wheat. Oh, jeez, look at all those seeds. Right, so can I just... Yeah, packed mud, look at that. Yo, okay, this is not too bad. I'll tell you what, I'm super glad I made all these wheat fields. That should definitely be enough to get us going. Oh, you can make mud bricks as well. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll make a couple stacks of those too. All right, I think that's enough time in this village. I think we need to go to the next one. Should just be down here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Yep, here it is. Right. Now, how about we do a mix of these mud bricks? I'll just sprinkle these around randomly. And then we'll fill in the rest of the gaps with this normal mud. I'm kind of vibing with that, you know. It goes quite well with the jungle wood. Let's just do a little bit more, just to be sure. <laughs> cool rhyme. God, I'm so cringe. You know what? As this jungle wood matches so well... Get out why don't we try put some in the floor right maybe not too much of this just a little sprinkling oh yeah that looks nice i like that right now i think i'm gonna throw down a few of these fences just on the edges and then also a few of these jungle leaves okay that's looking all right we may change this up later i'm not sure yet i think for now we're gonna leave the village decoration and i want to start working on decorating these houses a little bit more because right now they've got no doors they got no windows they got no floor so yeah let me get that done and i'll be right back okay so i got a bit more decorating done as you can see i've added some detail to the front of these houses here so now they've all got windows and doors i've also put a floor inside each of them still not decorated the inside yet but um i'm sure i'll do the interiors i've also added these little coarse dirt paths here that lead to all the different towers in this random shed see so yeah, everything's connected up now now i want to work on little areas like this we've got a few empty spots here and there's something in particular that i want to get and i think what i want to get is going to require a little bit of copper now i did find a cave 
save in my little cobble mine. All right, be careful this time. And I saw it. I saw copper somewhere. Oh, there it is. Right, yoink this and get out. Right, I'm pretty sure it's over this way. Yes. Yes, we're out. Okay. Right, I think I can fortune this, right? Get the fortune pick out and chuck it in the smelter. Right, while that's smelting, I need a feather. Would you drop a feather? You're lucky this time, buddy. Right, let's go find a chicken. Hiya! <laughs> Let's grab this copper and a stick. Oh, look at that new recipe unlocked. We got a brush, baby. And that's because I want to go in search of some of these new pottery shard ch ch thingies. I think we just pick a direction, find a desert. I think that's where you find the sand, suspicious sand, something like that. Right, let's find a desert. Okay, well, that didn't take long. A jungle temple. Yo, a bamboo farm's just over there. And then desert temple right here. All right, let's find some of this sus sand. How do I get in this thing? Oh, yeah, I guess we're going to loot this thing as well, right? Please be careful. Break that. Okay, right, slap a torch down. Any cool loot? Uh, diamonds, hello, yes. More diamonds, yes. Oh, and a saddle. Riptide too, eh. Golden apple, yes. And another golden apple. I mean, I'm happy with that. Right, get me out, I want sus sand. Is it just like this sand here? I can't lie, I am very confused. Is it the sand around the temple? Oh, jeez, I'm gonna have to read, aren't I? Okay, be right back. Okay, so there's a hidden staircase in here somewhere. And I think... This looks like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. Are you suspicious sand? No. Oh, wait. Yo, that sand looks suspicious. Oh, am I meant to right click it? Oh, I was meant to right click it, bruh. It's okay. There's another one. Please give me shirt. Yo, skull pottery shard shard. Right, I assume there's going to be a few more in here, right? Wait, there's a couple here. I think that's another shard. Let's go. Another skull one. I mean, I'll take it. Wait, do only skull ones spawn here? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'll take it. Oh, no, we got an archer pottery shed. Okay, what do we do? You do that? No. Um, I guess you just got to do it in a crafting table or something. I think that was all of them around here, though. And I think we'll keep exploring. I guess I want to try and find another temple. Seems like a pretty big desert. Oh, there is a village, though. Would this have suspicious sand? Whoa! Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, oh my God, this is so good. And I've got a saddle. Oh, screw the sheds. Let's go, buddy. Oh, my God, he's so slow. He is so slow, bruh. Uh... He's sprinting. The camel is sprinting. Oh my god. You know I've got four shirts. That's enough. We're taking this guy back home. Oh yes. Uh, guys, he's doing a giant leap. He doesn't jump upwards. And there's a big gap here. Here we go. Yes! Is that a jungle? I don't think we're that far from home, right? Do you have any suspicious sand, sir? Any suspicious sand? No. Oh, wandering trader, though. Lol, nice llamas, you nerd. It's all about camels now. Ah! Come on, camel, let's go. <laughs> Imagine riding a llama. What a nerd. Oh, yeah, there's the temple. We're definitely close to home. Oh, I see our bamboo farm. Right, can you jump this river? No, you're drowning. Oh, can they swim? No. Hey, that's better than a horse, though. Here we are, buddy, your new home. That's a very convenient bridge. One last big jump. Oh, here. Oh, ocelots are here. Oh, my God. There's so many animals. Don't touch my parrot. Oh, buddy. Welcome. Welcome. We need to actually give you a house, right? I mean, you know what? Let's just give him an actual house, right? Oh, he's lying down. Um, Come on, buddy. Oh, he's getting up. Welcome to your new home. Ow! Now you got to stay in there, please. Right. Stay there. There we go. Yep, you lie down in there, buddy. And we'll give you a nice little interior. Right, what would a camel like? What would a camel like? I think he'd like a nice bamboo ceiling. Right? You like that? I think he likes it. I mean, he can't read, so I guess he could have an empty bookshelf. Because, like, why would a camel have books? Oh, is he mad? Can you read? Oh, God. Right, you can store your stuff in this chest. And I guess if you ever want to make anything, then, well, there's a crafting table. Oh, he loves it. Speaking of, how do I how do I do these? Oh, I did it. Decorated pot. Yo, here you go. Oh, that's pretty cool. Can you break it? Yes. You know what, Camo, I'm keeping it. Maybe we can make some sort of, like, shrine for it or something. Could be a cool idea. Let me grab some of this mossy cobble. Maybe make a few more stairs. We'll place some stairs around like this. Couple of blocks. Maybe a wall. And then a pot. I mean, I don't know what it is, but it does look pretty cool, I guess. I guess we can bone meal it up a little bit as well, make it look a bit overgrown. I don't like these yellow flowers. Get out. Maybe a few leaves. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. Probably not what they're for, but um, oh well. All right, let's make a bunch of these lanterns and put some of these around. Oh yeah, this is cool. We'll hide one in behind the shrine as well. Yeah. I'm thinking we're getting there. I'm just going to bone meal a few more pieces. Right, there is one thing that I think we're missing, though. That's actually a bit more bamboo. Have I got any spare in here? Yes, eight. That all have to do, I guess. I'm thinking in some of these gaps here. I need to plant a bunch of this bamboo. So I'm thinking that's going to peek up through some of these gaps here. You know what? I've got the old bamboo farm here. Let's tear it down. 
Right, let's get some nice bamboo gardens in here. Right, I think while I wait for all this bamboo to grow, I'm going to work on a few of these interiors. I've got these two to do. And hopefully by the time I've done that, the bamboo's all grown. You can see what it looks like. All right, everyone. It's been a little while now. And as you can see, a lot of this bamboo has grown. And I think when you're in here, it does make the place feel a lot more enclosed. But yeah, while that was growing, I have been doing a few interiors. We've got this one here with a bed and a couple of chests. And then we got this one in here with a bed and a couple of chests. Oh yeah, you can also head up this way over this bridge and up this ladder. And you can look over the whole village. And keen eyes may notice I did put some more melons in the roofs. I did forget about that. But I think with that done, I'm going to call step seven complete. Now you may have noticed a panda on step eight. My plan was always to bring over some pandas to this village. But at this point, I'm not really too sure where they're going to fit. Because, well, we found this guy who has his head in the ceiling. But do you know what? I'm going to fly out and see if I can try find a panda anyway. I don't think I've ever found one in this world. And I'm pretty sure they spawn in this but. He's right. The, the, oh my god, they're literally right there. Okay, well, that was easy. Hi, guys. Any more of you? <gasps> There's one over there as well. Okay, I need to try bring these guys back. Oh, jeez. Do you like bamboo? Oh my god, he's got his tongue out. This is the one. This is the one I want. Come on, buddy. You're stuck in the water. Oh god, this guy's so stupid. Right, I think this is going to take a while. So, um, time lapse. <laughs> um, one just disappeared what okay well we got this one that's the tongue one so you know what i don't care rip bozo that other panda right this way tongue boy right we should probably give you a house right which house do you want oh this one right here that's really easy to get into oh that's not helpful yes yes come on get on the bed okay we're good we're good we're good oh right slap his door on <laughs> he's loving it in there he's loving it have some bamboo buddy you know what you can have this bamboo i mean the whole house is made out of it but um i'm sure you enjoy it oh jeez. right there's only one house left this is for the parrot so jump he's off me oh yes look at that he's sitting on the bed right let's get him right in the middle please Yes. Oh, so we've got a lovely parrot friend, a brand new camel sitting on a chest, and this guy. What? I think now with that done, I'm going to call this episode good. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And if you want to see more, then please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Minecraft 120 is here, and it's released a brand new biome, the Cherry Grove. So today, I want to set off on an adventure to find this biome, make a cherry wood farm, and build an amazing cherry blossom castle. But before we can begin today's journey, I need to repair my gear at the zombie farm and AFK at Frank so I can craft some more rockets. And with that, I think I've got everything that I'm going to need for this episode. So let's pack this away, grab my ender chest, and go try find a cherry biome. Now, we did head out this way last episode. We got some good luck with that jungle we found, where we built this awesome looking village. So, I say we go this way again. Shouldn't take too long to find 120 stuff. Oh, wait, there is a village there. Is anything cool and new spawn here? But you know what? It's night time. I'm using your bed, sir. Ah, oh, fresh new day. Got any cool loot? I mean, I'll take these bookshelves. You know what? There might be a blacksmith here. Oh, a cat. Oh, the one time I don't have fish on me. All right, well, it doesn't look like this place was a blacksmith, but, well, it does have whatever the heck this is. Um, hello? Who lives here? Here. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, good. It's a door that leads to some stone. Okay, bye. I'm off to find cherry wood. Moron. All right, let's keep it moving. Oh, we are getting some mountains, though, you know. Doesn't the cherry stuff spawn near mountains? Um, it's not looking likely at the moment. Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought that was cherry then, but it's goddamn pigs. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have hit you. Literally right here. Yo, let's go. How big is it? Oh. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, no. It keeps going over this way. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, it does go over here as well. How big is this bit? Uh, Hmm. Right, I think I prefer it over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because look at the view this place has got. Whoa, this is awesome. Hey, pig, what do you think? Should we build here? He does not seem impressed. Oh, whatever. Screw that guy. Let's check out some of this wood. Oh, this is so exciting. All right, so we've got these logs. Can we strip them? Yes. Oh, now you're in... Right, I guess we can make planks with these. Yeah. So stairs, slabs. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Right, let's lay this down. All right, here we go. This is pretty nice, you know. I do need to think of what I'm going to build with this. And I do have a bit of an idea, but it is going to require me chopping down a whole bunch of these trees. Because I think for what I want to do, I'm going to need quite a bit of space. So, uh, time lapse. All right, I think that should be enough space for now. Well, I hope so anyway. So we did manage to get quite a bit of this cherry wood. It's like two and a half stacks. But I think I am going to need quite a lot more than that. I'm not really sure I want to deforest this whole new biome. Because, well, that kind of defeats the purpose of the episode, doesn't it? So with that in mind, I'm thinking we grab the cherry wood that we've got and try and make some sort of cherry wood farm. And I suppose down here is as good a spot as any. I think I want to flatten out this area a little bit, though. Because seeing as these trees are a little bit annoying to chop down, I want to come up with a way to make it a little bit easier. Yep, I think that's going to do it. Quick sleep first. Don't think I don't see you, buddy. Get out! 
They ruined my new biome. Oh, bruh. Oh, we got these things, though. Pink petals. <gasps> you can place more than once. Oh, that is so cool. The more you place, the more that fills. I guess that kind of works like the sea pickles, right? That is awesome. Oh, my God. Look at all these blocks here. Oh, so much is going to get wasted. Trying to craft up a bunch of these cherry planks. And my plan is to have rows of these cherry trees running from here all the way down to the end. I'm going to mark where they're planted with these cherry planks. A bit of grass in the middle. Now I'll give a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, and then do the next one. We can put our saplings in the middle. And now I just got to do this like a bunch more times. Oh, geez. Here we go. All right, everyone. I've been stood around waiting for these cherry trees to grow. Because at this point, I'm wondering why I didn't bring bone meal with me. It's not like we've got a super overpowered mob farm back at the base. But you can see all these cherry trees are grown. And look how organized it's looking around here. But if I start chopping one of these trees down, you'll see there's a bit of a problem where some of these are a bit annoying to reach. And I've got a bit of an idea to combat that. Well, I say I've got an idea. Back a few weeks ago when I was playing on one shot, just had a tree farm that had a water elevator that shot you right up above the trees with a nice platform that made them easy to chop down. So I'm thinking... I want to do something similar. I mean, I say similar. I mean, literally exactly the same. Oh, God, I don't have flint and steel. Gravel, I need you. Come on, just drop some flint. Yes, first try. Ow! Oh, it's a trident guy. Get out. You know what? Fight him. Get this on. Ow. Die. Give me the trident. Where is he? Oh, trident? No. All right, we'll get this back on. And get me out of here. All right, flint and steel. Let's get in here. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> that was easy. I was just about to say, if I want to make a water elevator, then I need some soul sand. Uh, there we go. And I guess if I need bone meal, then uh, it's right here. Nice. Now I'm going to grab these doors, some more of this pink wood. I'm going to fly down here, and I think we're going to make the elevator here. So we'll build up a bunch of blocks around it. Yeah, around here should be good. So let's hop down, break out these, place it all like this and open it. And I forgot my buckets. Thank you. I'll make a quick water source. And now to start filling in this funnel thing, I guess. Nice, nice. Now I'm going to make a bunch of these slabs. Shoot up here. Then it's got to build a platform that just goes between all the trees. And now I can just chop them down from the top. Oh, yes, this is making it so much easier. Oh, yes, I love it. Right, now it's got a bit slabbed across the rest of the farm. Ugh. Tell you what, I'll bring you back when I've done it, because this is probably going to take a while. And here we are. I got all the platforms in. So if we take a trip up here, you can see we've got all the rows of this pink wood. So I'm pretty pleased with that. You can see here I started gathering up a bunch of this pink wood. But I think I want to make this place look a little little bit nicer. And I'm thinking what if we have some paths that lead between all the trees? So we bring it around like this. Um, you know what? I'm going to tear out this bit and tear out this bit. And what would it look like if we started tracking some more of this pink wood in? Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty nice. I guess we want it to go down this way as well. Oh yeah, this is going to look nice. I just got to get it going all the way throughout here. So let's get that done. All right, here we go. This place is looking a lot more organized. Now, one thing I have been noticing is that I've been getting attacked by a few mobs. So I think I want to throw up a little fence around this thing. So we'll craft a bunch of these. And you know what? One more thing. Let me grab some of this iron, make some more shears. So I want to hop up here and grab some of these leaves. Now I want to take these leaves and place them around the edge. And then I can run these fences all the way along the top, just like that. That gives us a nice looking border. Now just to do it all the way around the whole farm. All right, I'm feeling a lot safer in here now. Next up, I actually want to get some lighting in here. All right, lighting sorted, and that is... That's a lot of torches. Oh, lanterns would just look so much better. Oh, fine, I'll go caving. Oh, hello. Bye. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right, let me down here. Ow, ow. Where's the iron? Oh, God, it's the worst cave ever. Oh, spawner. Light it up. Any cool loot? Ooh, diamond horse armor. Yep, no iron, though. i got to find a better cave. Yep, this looks pretty good. Oh, okay, that was a lot of damage. Come on, I just need some iron. Oh, jeez. Okay, now let's get some iron. Well, you know what? I think that's going to be enough iron for now, because I do not want to fall down there. Oh, but diamond, I'll be taking you, and I'll see you back at the cherry farm, which should be just through here. Oh, yep. 
Thought it was this way. Very good. Right, let's craft some furnaces. Slap these down and start smelting it all up. See you when it's done. All right, so I got all the lanterns in. And I got to say, this place is looking a lot more fancy. But not only that, I've been dropping a lot of cherry wood. Because, well, I've been trying to figure out what to build today. And, well, I've been struggling. Now, I've got a rough idea what to do with all this stuff. But I'm not sure we can just use this cherry wood on its own. So, for the first time ever this series, I think we need to hop over to a test world. Right, here we are in a flat world. And let's just slap down some of these blocks. Now, I need to try and figure out what's going to go with this. And I'm going to come in here. I'm going to type in purple. I mean, maybe this terracotta would be nice. I don't think I've ever used purple, so I think I'm going to grab that as well. Oh, pink terracotta, magenta. This could be nice. You know what? We need some slabs and stairs as well. Mangrove could be good. Oh, or maybe this crimson. All right, let's put all this down. So we've got the mangrove. It's not bad. Or we've got the crimson. Hmm, kind of feeling the crimson, you know? Though that does mean going to the nether to collect wood. But I think that could be worth it. I think that's quite a nice palette. I'm not so sure about this one. Hmm. See ya. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. You know what? I'm wondering. Pink glazed terracotta. Yes, I like that. All right, I think that's going to be our block palette. So uh, back to the hardcore world. So I went to the mesa to collect a bunch of terracotta, hopped into the nether to grab some crimson wood, and ventured into the end to pick up some of these things. So as far as I know, if I grab my bow and some arrows, I should be able to shoot these things off. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is what I use to grow them. I should just be able to chop them down. Oh, yeah. Looks like the bamboo all over again. Oh, God, please not like this. Oh, jeez. See ya. Come on, heal. Place this down. Grab a totem. Who's back? Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh... Right, let's just get some of these things and get back home. Right, I think I'm going to grab some end zone as well, just so I can make a farm for these things. Because I do not want to be coming back here anytime soon. All right, let's grab our end chest and get the hell out of here. Now, I'm thinking this is probably going to take us back to spawn, because I have broken my bed. But I think that's all right. I think I'm going to build a little chorus fruit farm there. Here we are. And well, I suppose here seems like as good a spot as any, right? Right, I'm going to wait for all this to grow and start processing up all our blocks. And then once that's done, we can head back to the build site and actually, well, start building. All right, well, I think I've collected everything that I'm going to need. I say that, I just need a bunch of this cherry wood. There we go. And I think the first thing I have to do is flatten out a bit of an area. So I think we'll come out like this and bring this all the way across. All oh, these flowers are in the way. And what I'm trying to do here is flatten out a 21 by 21 area. Because I'm pretty sure that's going to be the size of our build. All right, there we go. And it looks like we've got a visitor already. See so, ya. Yeah. But I think the first thing I want to do is grab a bunch of this purple and start creating an actual base for the build to go on. That way it's also going to make the terraforming look, you know, not so terrible. Can't actually believe I'm using purple. But you know, there's a first time for everything. And you're probably going to have to trust me on this one. This is going to look good. I promise. All right, there we go. Now, in here is going to be the floor. And I think for that, I want to use these cherry planks. But to make the blocks last more, I'm going to build it out of slabs. There we go. But now we got this base out of the way, it's actually time we can start working on the structure. Okay, now when I think of cherry blossom, I think of Japan. And that's why after a lot of thinking, I've decided I'm going to try and build a Japanese style castle. Now, I've never done this before, so I'm not too sure how it's going to turn out. So you're going to have to bear with me here. I'm going to try and talk us through this. I think what we'll do is work on this front side first. I'm just starting off by building these pillars with this magenta terracotta at the bottom. And then obviously the stripped cherry wood at the top. So what I think we're going to do is bring cherry wood across here and then leave this middle bit here as an entrance. And take these cherry trap doors, put them right to the top like that, flip them all over. What does that look like from this side? Yes, yes, I like it, I like it. Guess I'll get that on all of these. I want to come around the front here and run some slabs along the top. There we go. I'm going to bring these cherry logs up a couple more. Run these fence gates along the top of these slabs. And in behind that, I'm going to place this pink glazed terracotta. So I think that's going to give us a nice little highlight. It should end up being fairly hidden, I think. We'll pop down and take a look. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty good. You can't really see it, but it does give a nice little pink glow. Right, let's hop back up. I'm thinking I'm going to pop out some logs here and then fill in this gap. We'll throw some buttons on the front of these. Looks like a game of parkour. I'm so good. Ow. I think we're going to work on our entrance now. We'll try some more cherry logs in here. So I kind of want the entrance to be set back just to give a little bit more depth. So we'll put stairs here. Fill this gap in with cherry wood. Get some trapdoors on the sides. And then also along here as well. Oh yeah, this is really starting to come together. Right, I want to start getting a bit more detail into this now. So underneath all these logs, I'm going to check these fence gates. And on top of these ones, I'm going to put some fences. Now I'm going to start running these stairs across the top here. Right until we get to the middle. We're just going to put a normal block. And then we're going to mirror it on the other side. Oh yeah, that's good given us a nice bit of decoration along the top. But now it's time to actually start getting the roof in. And for this roof, I want to use these crimson slabs. So we're going to start off just by running it along the top here. And we'll just keep bringing it back one slab at a time. 
out. Right, I'm just going to pillar up in the middle here. And I want to start working on a little bit of shape into this roof. So on the entrance, I want it to have a little bit of a lip. There we go. That's a bit more interesting. And I also want Japanese buildings. They have a little flick on the corner. So we knock out these three. Put some slabs here and here. Temporary block there. Temporary block there. Knock this out. A slab there. Knock that away. And we'll take a look. There you go. You can see the little flick out there. That looks so good. And we'll fly up and take a look from the sky. There we go. That's looking so nice. But my plan is obviously to have this on all four sides of the building. I don't want to stack it up maybe another two layers, but I think you guys get the idea now. And I say we kick it into a time lapse. Let's get building. Well, here it is, the finished castle. This thing is looking so nice. But we still do have quite a lot to do, including rescuing this poor bunny. Oh, were you trapped, little guy? But the thing I want to work on now is actually the entrance. So I want to use this purple to make a staircase. We'll fill in these little gaps. There we go. And I actually want to take these purple pillars because we've not used these yet. We'll build them up on the side of the stairs. First person using the entrance. Idiot. You know what? I'm going to knock these ones here down. Maybe we'll add another row here. Does that look good? Maybe here as well. Oh, you know what? That looks fine. Now, one thing you may notice here is I've added some leaves. And for some reason, I've not done it on the bottom. So let's just throw a bunch of these in. And I think on the front entrance, I want to grab some of this acacia wood and make it into trap doors. And I'm going to use this as sort of like holding the leaves back. I think it's going to give a nice pop of extra color. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I like that. Yep, yep, yep. Right, I just want to get the entrance ready on the sides as well. So we got one on this side. And well, this one's just flat anyway. So it's done. But now with the exterior details done, I do want to start working on the inside a little bit. This place is looking um kind of weird, but also kind of cool. I think I'm just going to work on the ground floor, which means we need some sort of roof. And I'm thinking if I fly up onto the second floor out. Can I squeeze through that? Yes. What if we bring this in a bit and we'll try and do this all the way around. Hop down. Yes, yes. Something's starting to come together. I want to kind of blend this into here. So I'm just going to work on this little corner here just so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. This corner you can see is nicely blended in. All right now if I take these crimson fences and just run them along here. There we go. We've got a nice little balcony thing. But now I just need to carry this all the way around the side. So I'm going to see when that's done. All right, this is starting to look a lot tidier. I think now I'm going to fill in all of these gaps here. That way we've got a solid ring of this going all the way around the edge. All right, nice. And we've got this gap along here, which I think I want to fill with these leaves. Oh, you know what? As I'm coming around here, I'm thinking where we have these pillars, they need to come right up to the top. So I'm going to throw these in. All right, all the pillars and the leaves are in. This place is looking tidy. I think next I want to work on the floor and move this crap out of the way. I'm thinking, what if we take some of this grass? And try and make some sort of cherry blossom garden. Kind of think that could be pretty nice, you know. So we'll fill this in. We've got a bunch of these pink petals. So I'll throw all over these down around the edge. Yes, yes. You know what? I think this thing needs a border as well. Hmm, what can we make this out of? I think this purple terracotta might look quite nice. Uh, yes, I thought correctly. Now, I'm thinking we maybe make like a mini sort of pink tree in the middle. But for that, I am going to want some diorite. Like maybe in this cave. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see it. I also see the four creepers down there. But I'm only coming for a little bit of this. And maybe a little bit of this birch wood. All right, let's see if I can make some sort of tree. Oh, here we go. Two hours later. All right, well, I'm not much of a tree guy, but well, it doesn't look too bad. It's a bit like a pink Christmas tree. <laughs> you know what? I could probably embrace it and throw some decorations on it, right? Yep, it's stupid and I love it. Right, next thing on my list is tearing out the edge here. I want to see what it looks like with this crimson wood. Yep, I think that's going to frame it pretty nicely. I'll get the rest done. Nice. Uh, there is another thing I want to explore and it's going to require a little bit of clay. Now, this is when it's annoying to have a silk touch shovel because I'm looking for some of these clay balls. Oh, look how good it looks from here. Jeez. Right, enough distractions. Clay is smelting. Then I can show you something cool when it's done. All right, clay smelted and look at this decorated pot. You can just craft them with clay bricks. Oh my god, they don't stack. <laughs> they don't stack. Right, I was about to say I want to start placing these randomly around here. So I guess I'll just work on this corner for now. And one more there. Oh, I guess you need silk touch for that. But if I come back to the crafting table and craft up a bunch of these flower pots, which fortunately do stack, you can place them inside these other clay pots, which in turn means you can put stuff inside the pots, just like these cherry blossom saplings. Some leaves on the top of some of them. Look at that. It's like a little cherry display 
thing. Well, I don't really know what you call it, but I like it. So I'm going to get these in all of the corners. And I'll bring you back when it's done. And would you look at this? We got a lovely monument to the cherry blossom. Right, now, last thing I want to do is take some of these bone blocks. Get some bone meal. I just want to fill in a few of these spots where I tore out the trees. So I would like it to be quite dense around the build. Dense like my brain. Ow. Well, that was good timing. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got a nice view there. Oh, look at that. But with that done, guys, I'm going to call the episode there. If you enjoyed it, consider hitting subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. This is a camel. A brand new mob added to the Minecraft Trails and Tales update. But the camels have a huge problem. They live with these morons. That's why today I'm going to liberate these camels and build them their very own camel sanctuary. And equip it with everything that they could possibly need. Okay, so I've made it back over to our jungle village. Oh, this place came out so nice. How you doing, Panda? You alright, buddy? He's enjoying his bamboo. Oh, he's really enjoying it. What about you, Parrot? You alright? Okay, I'll just uh, leave you to it. Weirdo. But the main reason I'm here is to pick up our camel friend, who apparently is tired. And you know what? So am I. But we do have a little bit of a problem. Ow! This guy doesn't have a name. Now, I asked you guys in a community post to give some name suggestions for this handsome chap. No, I'm not talking about me. Yes, I'm talking about you. And we had a whole bunch of suggestions for names. But there was one that I really liked in particular. And that name came from Chelsea, which was... Humphrey. Oh, welcome, Humphrey. You're such a good lad. All right, now off to the desert to find more camels. Now, if you want your chance to be included in a video, then do make sure you're subscribed, because apparently only 4% of you that watch my videos actually are. And that's because I'm going to be throwing out some more community posts for your guys' input in future videos. And I'm only going to be picking subscribers. So subscribe. Come on, Humphrey. There's no time to rest. we got to find you some friends. Oh, that's a big cave. Any camels down there? Apparently not. God, Humphrey, you are literally the laziest camel. Come on. Oh, this guy. Oh, a village. Come on, please be a camel. Um, I do not see a camel. But do you know what? Now I think about it. Is this the village that we found Humphrey in? I mean, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Okay, onwards to the next village. Oh, what's that over there? Yep, it is another village. <gasps> and it has a camel. Yo, let's go. Looks like I'm going to have to pick another name from the comments. But for now, let's see if this place has any loot. Do these things have chests? Bookshelves, I'm taking them. Always got to take the bookshelves. I mean, some cactus. I guess I'll take it. Well, the loot isn't great, but the village does have what we came for. So I guess now's a good time to find somewhere to build. And I am thinking I want to build this in the desert. And what I have in mind is pretty big. So I'm looking for like a nice sort of flat area. Or as flat as can be anyway. Okay, I'll just find the perfect spot. Okay, maybe not the perfect spot yet, but I have found another village and a desert temple. Right, I'm aware that I'm getting quite distracted, but I do want to go check the loot in that temple. Come on, get in the hole. And you, Humphrey, come on. In you go. All right, let's check out this loot. Because from my understanding, you can get those new armor trim things in here. So we'll break this all down. Oh, yes, two of them. Yo, let's go. More diamond horse armor. Aqua I already have it. More diamonds. More horse armor. Yo, this is well good. I am glad we came. Out. Oh, you know what? This area is actually pretty cool, you know? There is this nice big space here, and I suppose it's reasonably flat. What do you think, guys? I think Humphrey loves it. And whatever your name is as well. All right, let's get our valuable stuff away in here. I'm not going to want a whole bunch of blocks to mark out the area for the build. So I think I'm going to grab a bunch of this brown terracotta. That'd be a nice contrast to the sand. All right, blocks acquired. Now it's time to actually start placing them down and marking out this area. All right, let's just ignore the fact that this took me about half an hour to do. Yes, it's because I'm a massive moron. Nothing new to learn here. But if we fly up here, you'll see I've marked out a massive circle. And this is going to be the area for the build. But seeing as this build isn't actually for me, I want to make sure that Humphrey likes it. Right, you stay in there, no name. You don't have any say yet. God damn it, Humphrey, come back. Right, buddy, so I've marked out a lovely area for your new home. Now I just need to see if you approve of the size. All right, here it is. What are you saying? Wag your ears if you like it. Oh, right, I think we're good. Humphrey, I'm going to keep you here for now. I suppose you could act as the sort of, like, build inspector or something, you know? Right, you sit there while I dig out this massive area. Because I'm thinking I want to sink this by, I don't know, maybe, like, ten blocks or so? This is a camel sanctuary, not a rabbit sanctuary. All right, let's get this thing dug out. Time lapse. And done. Ah. Oh. Right, well, that took a while. But now we have this huge gaping hole in the desert and a whole bunch of sand and sandstone. It's literally everywhere. Yep, Humphrey does not look impressed. Right, come on, buddy, let's check it out. Look what I've made for you. Oh, he's wagging his ears. Woo! Oh, well, this is your new home. Okay, hope you enjoyed the episode. Bye!
Nah, I'm just kidding. We still got loads of work to do. Ugh. But before we carry on building, I think I want to get no name here. Oh, you can't be lazy as well, surely. Are all camels lazy? Come on, it's about time you went to see your new home as well. I know I'm mean to you, but it's just because you don't have a name yet. Right, leap of faith. Yes. Oh, you're all right. You're all right. Right, next up, I'm going to have to grab my spare shovel here and use it to repair this. Seeing as we're like 3,000 blocks from home and I can't get XP to repair my shovel. But with this stuff taken care of, I think I want to make a little temporary holding pen for these camels. So I think for now, I'm just going to put it in the wall here. This obviously isn't going to be their permanent home, uh, but I'm sure they're going to like it. Right, guys, it's at this point that I'm realizing that I don't have any wood. And well, there isn't much lying around in the desert, is there? Though... Hello. This has got to be like the only tree within like a thousand blocks. Oh, yes. I just wanted to make some fences. And I suppose I should wait around for these saplings, right? Because, uh, yeah, it's just desert as far as the eye can see. <gasps> Another camel. No. Okay, this isn't far. This isn't far. No name two. You will be liberated. I promise. I'll come back for you. I just don't have a lead on me or a saddle. Oh, three camels. All right, three saplings. That'll do. We'll just plant these here for now. Right now, I can make some fences. Uh, a couple of gates. Oh, someone already loves it. I'm free. You love it. You I knew you were the best boy. I knew you were the best boy. Right, no name. You get in as well. These camels are so lazy. Come on, we've got work to do. Right, you stay there. A couple of fence gates. Fences. Okay, right. Now, after a little bit of Google searching, I have found that if I grab this cactus... What the heck? H hello? <laughs> no, you're meant to stay in there! Well, you can breathe them, I was going to say. <laughs> oh, it worked! It worked! They can just climb over fences! What? What is actually happening? Right, every day's a school day. Let's get another layer of these on. Humphrey, you're in the way. Right, you guys are lazy until it comes to breaking out your home. This is no good. Humphrey, please stay in! Okay, I'm not trying to imprison you. I'm trying to just, you know get more of you. Like this cute guy. <gasps> you can be lazy because you're a baby. And you know what? I guess you can roam free in here for a bit. Right, next up, I'm going to need a little trip to the nether. So I think we'll just chuck a portal back over this way because I'm going to start working on the entrance to the camel sanctuary. And seeing as it's quite low down in the ground, I think it'd be a cool idea to use the water elevators, which means we're going to need some soul sand. Please, soul sand. Bruh. Soul sand. Oh, there's a ghast. I should probably get my bow. All right, now we're ready. Okay, soul sand, soul sand, soul sand. I'm pretty sure that's it, right? Oh, there's a skeleton. Yeah. Get out. Right, one soul sand. Thank you. And I think I'm going to grab one of these magma blocks as well, because we can use this for coming down. Ow! Right, well, that was lucky. There's the portal, and we're out of here. Yummy. Now, I think I want the entrance to be... I guess maybe on this side. Oh, look at the baby. Actually, no, I want it to be on this side. So I think I'm going to fill up this area here with some sand. Then jump down here. I think I'm going to want... A water elevator here, and then one on this side. It's that gap of five in the middle. Okay, so push this back a little bit, and then this. Oh, oh, look at that. That's so good. Right, break these. Stand back. Break these. Perfect. All right, you know what? We've all seen water elevators before, haven't we? It's not like I'm showing you anything new. I think we literally did it like two episodes ago. Right, I'll see you when it's done. All right, we got the water elevators in. We can pop down this one. Out. Then come on the other side and shoot ourselves up. Perfect. Right, do you want to quickly just pop down here? And I want to grab Humphrey's saddle and quickly fly over and grab No Name 3. Because I'm meant to be liberating all the camels from the moron villages, right? All right, it should be around here somewhere. Yes, there it is. And there's the camel, yes. Right, get that on. We're taking you to a new home. You can leave these morons finally. Come on, shot him. Oh, jeez. You as well. This is no longer your camel. Ooh. Okay, say goodbye to your old home. Idiots. And after bringing No Name 3 back home, I went out to farm some blocks so that we can finally start decorating our camel sanctuary. All right, so I've made it all the way back to the base. Hiya, Frank. Because I know I've got a bunch of spruce wood here. So I'm just going to grab all that. And I also want to grab a bunch of this dirt. And I figured while I'm here, I may as well repair my tools. So we'll hop down here and wait. Right, it has been a little while now, and I have collected a whole bunch of this wood, which I'm guessing you saw in the time lapse. And that's because I want to take this wood to actually start decorating up the walls. Now, I think I want to start by taking our birch logs. And I'm thinking I want to use these as sort of like pillars. So if I jump up here like this, bring it all the way down, and then we'll do the same on this side as well. There we go. And then I strip all these. Please let me reach the top. <sighs> Right, so we've got something like that. Then in the middle, I'm going to grab some of this oak wood and replace all the sand and the sandstone with the oak logs and then strip them. Yep, and there we are. Well, there is still a bit more I want to do to this. I'm make some of these birch slabs. I run these along the bottom and along the top. That's giving us a nice little border. Ignore that birch log. And I think another thing I want to do is replace all this brown temporary terracotta. And I've got a little idea for that, but that is going to require a little bit of prep work, which I think we're going to get to later. But for now, I think that wall palette is definitely going to match the camel pretty well. These guys seem to be enjoying it. Oh, look, and our baby's grown up. I just realized. But for now, I've got to get all these walls changed out for the logs. Yep, wish me luck. And we are done. Look at this place. Oh, uh...
Damn it, we're only halfway. And here we are, all the walls are finished. I gotta say, that took probably, I think, about an hour. But I'll tell you what, it was worth it. And the camels are waking up. Oh, I knew you guys would like it. How about you, Humphrey, what do you think? Well, I'm sure you get used to it. But next up, I don't know if you remember, I was talking about the trim on the top here. Right now, we got this horrible brown terracotta stuff, which quite frankly doesn't really fit with the whole desert theme. So I was thinking we could sort this out for maybe some green terracotta, which I think would represent this cactus. And ironically, we're actually going to need the cactus to make the green terracotta. And I figured while we're here in the desert, why don't we make an automatic cactus farm? And I guess it makes sense to have it in the camel sanctuary because, you know, they need cactus because they eat it. That's right, make a baby. Yes! Look at them, they're following. They love cactus. I think I'm just going to put it in this wall here. We've got entrance over there, the camel's over there, and I guess cactus farm in here. Oh, sounds makes it so easy to dig out. This is so good. Now, I don't suppose this is going to be a super efficient cactus farm because we all know I'm not really, the, you know, the super efficient redstone guy, chicken powered sugarcane farm and stuff. But I think I know the basic mechanics of how this stuff works. You know, you use like a fence to make it fall off and stuff like that. But cactus farm, not camel farm. Oh, geez. Right. I guess you can watch while I do this. Oh, Sorry, look, this is a building site. It's not safe for camels. Look, if you die while I'm doing this, then so be it. Oh God, he's so mad. He's literally spinning with rage. <laughs> My God, you need, you need to leave. You need to leave. No name too. I need your saddle. Whatever the hell your name is, I'm riding you out of here because you will absolutely die. Ow! All right, you stay there. I'm going to shut myself in here and build a cactus farm. Ready? Oh! Oh, oh, cactus farm, huh? Just like that. Well, now I've got AFK to see if this thing actually works. So um, I'm gonna block myself up in here. There we go. And I guess we'll see what happens and fingers crossed it actually works. Oh, please work. Yay, it worked. All right now I just gotta smelt up this cactus. There we go. Oh, hello. Oh no, he despawned. Cringe. You know what else is cringe? Forgetting that I need some normal terracotta to make the green terracotta. All right, let's craft up some of this lime dye. We'll do a bunch of this lime terracotta and then green. Because I'm thinking these two blocks should match cactus pretty well. I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm going to get to work tearing out this brown terracotta and replacing it with these. And I guess we'll see how it looks. Oh, you know what? That is looking so much nicer, right? Yes, I like it. So we do need to sort out this whole mess here. And luckily for us, while digging out the whole area, we did get a whole bunch of sand. So yeah, I'm going to get this tidied up. All right, that should just about do it. If we take a fly up. Yes, that's looking a lot more tidy. Except you, you must leave. I think with that out of the way, we can actually start working on some stuff inside the sanctuary. Though there is still more I want to do outside, but I think we'll get to that later. Let me just grab some more food. And I think I'm going to need some temporary blocks. Guess we'll just use this brown stuff again. Because I want to start working out what we're going to do on the floor here. Now, what I want to do is mark out the middle, which should be this one. And I'm thinking I want to divide this thing. Please try and stay out the way. I'm thinking I want to divide this thing into four. Just like this. So now we've got four clear sections. And I think I want to start on this one, which I'm thinking about making a little village for the camels. But I thought it might be a cool idea to theme it on the mesa. Oh, yep, they're getting excited. Right now, what could I use for a floor in here? Now, I'm not too sure I actually want to use terracotta. Ooh. Hang on. Am I being a moron? We should use this red sand, right? Yes, this will be good. Yes, 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 yes. Right, I'm going to grab a butt ton of this stuff. And fun fact, I think red sandstone might be one of my favorite blocks in the game. So maybe we should try and use some of that as well. Right, butt ton of red sand acquired. There is something else you can find in the mesa that I'd quite like to look for. But it's not looking like I can see it. Also, how damn good is this mesa? Wow, this is seriously cool. We're definitely going to have to come back here to build something at some point. Yep, I'm still not seeing what I'm looking for. Look, it's coarse dirt, all right? I'm trying to look for coarse dirt. I thought we could get it in the mesa. I guess not. Well, maybe I can find some gravel in here or something. Oh, yep, gravel. Right, I'll just grab a bunch of this. And we'll go grab a bunch of dirt as well. All right, now we got a coarse dirt. Let's go home. Okay, we've made a mob sanctuary, apparently. Stay away from my camels, gentlemen. Thank you. Jeez, they're everywhere. Right, let's start getting this red sand down. We'll have this as a sort of base layer. All right, red sand down. This place is looking cool. Now to mix it up a little bit, let's craft a bunch of this red sandstone. We'll get some slabs and we'll make a bunch of stairs. Right, I'm gonna dig out little patches like that and put upside down stairs in. Yes, I'm gonna get these nice little red cobble patches. What do you think, guys? Oh, we standing up. Gonna inspect it. 
Nope, you're gonna look at a wall. Okay, now if I fly up here, I'm gonna grab this lime terracotta, make a bunch of spruce buttons, then I can come down here, place some terracotta like that, put some buttons on it. It's camel safe cactus, because it's a camel sanctuary. I don't want them to die. Man, sometimes I really am a genius. Yep, that looks um interesting. But I think now I actually want to start working on the village buildings, which I'm thinking are gonna run along the back wall there. But to actually build the village itself, I'm thinking I'm gonna want to grab a bunch of different terracotta blocks. So I'm gonna grab some of this orange terracotta, a little bit of this red. We'll grab some yellow. And I guess we'll get this normal terracotta too. And I think with all that, I can finally start building the village. Let's do this. All right, so I've got a nice base for the village in here. As you can see, I've made like a bunch of different shapes using all the terracotta that we got before. And I've sort of given them like a lush sort of roof thing. But we still do have more work to do on this, like adding things like nice doorways with nice little overhangs. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, goodbye. All right, a bunch of doorways in. I want to try and squeeze in a few windows with these fences. We'll just get these around randomly. All right, that's making quite a big difference already. Now, I want to try and fit some of these spruce buttons along the top. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I've got quite a few chests and barrels here, which I'm going to try and sprinkle around. This should be a nice bit of extra decoration. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Now, I'm thinking I just want to hop up onto this one. I put some slabs on here, some fences on top of those. Then I'm going to make a little roof out of campfires. Yep, don't worry, we're going to fix that. <laughs> oh, God. Right, I'm going to start putting these out and then start knocking a few of these away. I think you know where this is going. We'll get some leaves in here and pray that this thing looks right. We'll let the camel families grow in. But yeah, I think I like that. That's looking nice. Maybe we could have another one on this building. All right, just got to put these fires out. Yeah, that looks cool. I like it. Right, you come with me. What do you think about this thing? I've made you your own Mesa village. Please wag your ears. I knew he loved it. I think I might just put a few more of these leaves around just for a bit of extra color. And I think we'll call this section good. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyway, moving on. I think next up, we're going to work on this section. I'm thinking we could flood this section with water, maybe have like a nice sort of tropical island in the middle, you know, like palm trees and stuff. I think they'd like that. He is loving that village, let me tell you. Right, I'm going to get this mess of an inventory sorted out and then we'll get back to work. Okay, inventory sorted. I think the first thing we got to do for this area is dig it down maybe another one or two layers, which is going to be nice and easy mining this sandstone. <laughs> Right, this is all dug out. Next, though, we're going to have to flood this giant hole. And I think these guys are going to end up going for a little bit of a swim. I'm sure they'll be fine. All right, let's fill this thing up. See, I told you they'd be fine. Easy peasy. Right, I just want to pop back up here and grab a little bit of sand, which I know we have absolutely loads of. Lovely. I'm thinking I'm going to craft a bit of these sandstone slabs as well. And let's start mapping out a little island in the middle here. So I'm just going to do like a rough shape. I don't want to do anything too big. Now I want to come in with the slabs here and start smoothing up this shape underneath the water a little bit. I mean, I don't suppose we're going to see this too much, but I think it's the extra little details that count. Eh, you know what? That does actually work pretty well. I wonder if we could build up another layer of sand in the middle. Yeah, I think that does kind of look better, you know. I think we'll roll with that. Oh, he's on. Okay, yes, that was definitely the right decision. Now I think I'm going to make a few of these composters and grab the these leaves. Yeah, I probably need a few more. I should be able to take these and build a palm tree, which I'm thinking should be something like this. Maybe this. Let's take a step back. Yeah, I think that's got a nice little lean to it. Now I just need to make the canopy. Let me see what I can do here. Honestly, that is a lot better than I was expecting. And that's probably not the most perfect palm tree, but I'm happy with that. Now, I think if I fly over this way, just beyond that burning village, there should be a jungle. Oh, uh, shipwreck. Armor trim. No. Well, and apparently there's not another chest, so to the jungle, because I just want to grab a little bit of this bamboo. Yes, I am aware we made a farm two episodes ago. All right, let's start turning this into blocks. And I think while I'm here, I'm going to grab a little bit of this jungle wood as well. So I think this might go quite nicely with our palm tree and we'll fly back home. Oh, I say that. More armor trims, maybe? Please, armor trims. Oh, that was so close to the pressure plate. Saddle, I'll take it. Another saddle, I'll take it. Okay, let's go home. All right, first things first, let's get some saddles on our boys and you as well. I'm going to Take the jungle wood that we just got and sort of put it around this palm tree. Something like this. So knock you out. Put one there. That's kind of acting like roots. I think it's made the whole thing come together a little bit better. I want to come here and craft up some of this bamboo. Yes, I make some of these bamboo rafts. I didn't make these when we did the bamboo episode. And I thought, why not sprinkle them around this pond? That way, if the camels get stranded, well, I suppose they can just row themselves out, right? I mean, probably not, but it does look nice. Now, I think at this point, we can tear out this brown terracotta divider. Nice. I'm thinking for 
now I'm going to leave the sandstone as the divider. But there is one more thing that I want to add to this thing. And it is going to require me emptying out my inventory a little bit. And we're going to fly out over this way. Specifically here. Because isn't this where the tropical fish spawn? Oh, yes, apparently it is. Right, grab him. Yo, achievement as well. Let's go. Oh, not you though. You stay away. Right, who else wants to come live with the camels? Oh, they look pretty nice. Come on. Right, I got one more bucket. Oh, you're so cool. It's like an Ikea fish. Right, let's get these guys back home. Well, they look like they're having a nice time. You know what, though? Can I grab these? No. Uh, she is? Silk touch pickaxe? Yes. Right, let's grab a bunch of these things. Right, I grabbed some more fish while I was there, because why not? And we should just be able to plant a bunch of this stuff around. Oh, okay, we'll do it while we're on a camel, I guess. And I've also got a bunch of these sea pickles that I can throw around. And finally, I've also got a little bit of sugar cane and some of these dead bushes to throw around. And I think I'm going to call this section good. He is loving it! He's spinning with joy. And now he's tired. Okay, well, on to the next section, which I think is going to be this section here. Nope, it's not going to be a creeper section. Goodbye. I think I want to make this a grassy section. Yeah, we got some more in here. So once again, I'm going to have to tear out this floor and then fill it in with some grass. Oh, I run out of grass. All right, grass is in. And I'm thinking on this side, I want to do something sort of similar to this side. I want to make another small village along this back wall. And I'm wondering what block I want to make it out of. And I just feel like bamboo would be best, you know. I don't really have too much of that. So I'm going to clear my inventory out once again. Grab some more rockets. And make the journey back to the bamboo farm, which I'm pretty sure is out over this way. Hello, pillager outpost. Could be another armor trim, please. Bruh. Okay, to the bamboo farm. Yep, there it is. Man, that thing looks good. But I don't think we're going to have too much bamboo in here. You know what? I have done quite a bit of building so far today. So I think I'm going to take a little break and just AFK in here. So I'm going to wait for that bamboo, craft it all up, and I'll see you back at the build site. Okay, so I've made it back to the camel sanctuary. I've crafted up a whole bunch of bamboo and grabbed some more stuff from the old jungle village. So now it's time we can actually start building. Now I want to do something similar to like we did over in the mesa, like I said before. So I'm going to start off by building some sort of floor plan. I'm going to use these blocks of bamboo. So we got a little something like this. Next up, I want to take these bamboo planks and start building up a little bit. I'm just like over at the Mesa Village. I want to make sure that these stack up at different heights. Yep, you're a great help, my friend. So I think we'll make this one another three blocks. And this one will go two. And this little one we'll just have as one. Now, I've got a bunch of this strip bamboo. So I'm going to put a layer of that on top of all the houses. And this will act as a little trim. Because I think next up, I want to take these jungle slabs. And we'll jut these out just by one block. This should give us a nice bit of shape and interest. And I want to keep these houses pretty simple. Because uh, this build is actually pretty big. Well, for me at least, anyway. But simple doesn't have to look bad. I mean, look at that. That's simple, but I think that looks so cool. So I want to keep the theme looking pretty similar. Right, we'll just get this last trim in. And now we can jump back and take a quick look. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. I'm liking the shape of that. Other than that random slab. Yoink. Now, for the roof, I've got these oak leaves. And I think this should look pretty good. So I'm just going to fill in all these gaps. I mean, I know leaves aren't exactly waterproof, but it's not like it rains in the desert. So I don't think the camels are going to mind too much. Um, I suppose you guys can just watch. But I think this leaf roof is looking pretty nice, especially with Jermsey Boy's texture pack. There's a link to that in the description. I definitely recommend you give that a go. Oh, God, they're coming. Okay, right. Brilliant. You've all got to go. I don't think I've got a cow anywhere nearby. I'm going to right by a village. Oh, God. Oh, my camels! Do not touch my camels. Right, my guy. You're going to have to sort of live down here. Ah, fine. We'll just uh, leave him down there. I guess. Now I want to move on to some details. I'm going to knock out some holes for windows and doors. Right, I'm thinking that should be pretty good. We're going to fill in the windows with these jungle fences. Nice. And just like we did over here, we're going to put up some trims around the doors. There we go. Now I realize that this one doesn't actually have a door. Okay, okay, looking good. Definitely need to get some more leaves around this place. And I wonder if some jungle buttons could work. Maybe along these trims here could be pretty nice. Yep, I suppose I'll do it while riding this camel. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Now I do have another idea, but it might require another trip to the nether. Okay, I'm gonna need some of this crimson wood. Oh, I think we'll leave them to it. And I was hoping to find some warped wood as well. We're gonna have a quick look over this way. Yes, 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 yes. Warped wood, baby. All right, get me out of here. Oh, geez. All right, so if I lay all this down and then strip it all and then mine it all back up again, I can grab some of my iron, make some nuggies, make some chains. Then I should be able to make hanging signs. Yes. Yo, let's go. Now, how do I want to do this? If I put a bamboo fence here, I'm going to build up a couple more. Yep, I think that's good. And I'm going to put some hanging signs. They don't go there. Maybe some temporary blocks? What? How do these work? Here? Yes. And here? Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, but the fence doesn't connect. Hmm. What the heck? 
Well, my plan was to have these sort of hanging signs act as like, you know, like the flag hangy things. But maybe it can only work in specific spots. I really thought a fence would connect. Right, let me have a little play around with these and I'll bring you right back. This is going to take some figuring out. All right, well, uh, this was the best I could come up with. You know, it's not the worst. It's not the best. I'd really love these to connect to fences, you know. I think that'd be such a nice addition. But you know what? It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Brilliant. This guy's finally gone. Now, I want to start coming in here and adding a few paths. So I'm going to tear out some of this grass in front of the houses and then throw in a bunch of this mud, just like we did in the jungle village. These camels are starting to get really noisy. You're going to have to move, my friend. Okay, paths in. That's looking nice. That's looking nice. Wouldn't mind getting some of these chests and some barrels. I think we'll start throwing some of these around for some easy decoration. I mean, you can't go wrong. And honestly, this place could really use the storage. I think I'm going to throw out one more tree here. But I think this time we're going to leave the weird hanging sign thing. Not really a vibe. All right, not the best, not the worst. Yeah, probably the worst. Now, there's a couple more things to do on this section. I grab these bones, make a bunch of bone meal and start bone mealing up this grass. I think camels will like it. Do camels eat grass? I don't know, probably. Oh, that's kind of pretty, you know, I like it. They're lying down in the grass. Now, if I dig down here, I should hit stone. Oh, jeez. Hello. Goodbye. What I was meant to say, I just wanted to grab a little bit of stone and get the hell out of here. I think some little mini boulders placed around would be quite nice. I'll have something like that. Another little small one around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, he loves it. Look at him. He's so happy. Right, I think I'm going to call this section good. I'm really happy with how this one turned out, other than weird sign thing, but it stays. And you know what? While decorating this area, how about another idea for the island? Right, give me some more campfires and some spruce trap doors. So I'm thinking if I place these down here, come up with a random pattern of these campfires and the trap doors, I'll extinguish these. Then they come out to have a nice little bridge to the island. Yes, this is good. This is good. Right, I'm going to do the same on this side as well. There we go. Extinguish all these. A nice little three wide one here. Oh, yeah. Yes, I love that that's so good which means now with these three sections out the way we can move on to this one and i'm not meant to be giving the camels everything that they need and so far we've built them a mesa village a nice tropical island and a grassy jungly village the camels actually need these things i mean when well, they seem to be enjoying it but i think what the camels really need has been here all along i mean it's the desert right that's where they live so with that said i think it's time we actually start making them their own custom desert except this time they're not going to deal with annoying villagers so i have to start placing a whole bunch of sand down there we go looking good now just just super quickly here. I want to grab a stack of this sandstone and chuck it in the smelter here because I want to get some smooth sandstone. We'll come back to that in a bit. I do want to hop down into the cactus farm here and grab a stack of this cactus. And I'm going to start sprinkling this around a little bit. And you know what? Fingers crossed. I'm just hoping these guys don't kill themselves on this. Look, buddy, no walking into cactus. Yes, you can have some. Why can't I place it? Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Oh, it's still sandstone. I'm going to have to remember to edit that part out or just leave it in for you guys to laugh at me. I guess I'll just decide that later. Uh, who am I kidding? I've probably left it in. Okay, now we can place cactus down here. Great stuff. Oh dear. Right, wouldn't mind getting a few more dead bushes. But to do that, I need some more shears. Let's grab a few of these and we'll start throwing these around. Looking good, looking good. You know what? I should put a few in the mesa as well, right? Yeah. All right, hopefully this smooth stone's smelted up by now. Mm, doesn't look like it. Eh, 30. That's probably good for now. Right, I'm gonna craft this up into slabs. I want to start throwing these in random areas here just to smooth out this desert terrain a little bit. Right, what does that look like? Oh yeah, that's pretty good. But now that we got this desert thing in, I'm kind of not really feeling this sandstone divider. What else could we change that to? Uh, maybe I'll see how the bamboo looks. All right, I'm going to get this changed out. Yeah, I'm feeling that. I like it. I like it. It looked a bit weird how it was too similar to the desert biome. But you know what? I think that is pretty cool. I'm happy with that. But with that done, I'd say the inside looks pretty complete. But like I said before, there is a little bit more I want to do to the outside. I kind of feel like this trim looks a little bit weird on its own. So let's get working on that. Okay, so I've had some time to have a little bit of a think. And for what I want to do, I'm going to want to grab some of this red sand so that I can craft a bunch of this red sandstone. And I also want to fly off over this way. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. So I also want a whole bunch of acacia. And I also want to grab a little bit more of this orange terracotta because I want to do something working with this gradient right here. So let's kick it into a time lapse and get this outside decorated. And all that's left to do now is grab some cactus from the cactus farm and start planting a bunch of this stuff around. And finally, we can fly down here and we can finally release Humphrey from his prison. Yep, may or may not have forgotten that this guy was in here. Please let me out. 
there we go. But guys, with that done, I think I'm going to call this project complete. What do you think, Humphrey? Do you like it? Oh, yeah, I think he does. Oh, and so does that parkour camel. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. A lot of work went into this one. It's bye from Humphrey, and it's bye from me. See you in the next one. Bye! Sniffers have been added to the latest Minecraft update. Not only do these things look cute, but they can also dig up rare seeds that can grow into amazing flowers. That's why today I'm going to adventure to find some sniffers of my own, make an awesome farm to collect a whole bunch of these new seeds, and build them their very own sniffer barn that contains everything a sniffer could possibly need. Now, I have been pretty busy between episodes. I managed to get on the nether roof for easy travel, AFK at Frank for some more rockets, and heal up my tools at the zombie farm. Man, I really need a better XP farm. But with that out of the way, we can crack on with today's episode. And the first thing we gotta do today is grab our brush, because we're off to go find some sniffer eggs. Now, I have done a little bit of research, and I'm pretty sure I know where we can find them. But it's gonna mean we have to go to 120 terrain, though. Oh! Um, <laughs> get another totem, get another totem. Oh dear, what a way to start an episode. Let's light this up again. Oh jeez. Oh, there it is. Finally, desert portal. Certainly beats flying in the overworld. Now, I'm looking for an ocean. I'm pretty sure there's one over here. Because from what I understand, sniff regs come from the suspicious sand found in ocean ruins. Oh, this is looking pretty oceany. But where's the ocean ruin? Okay, not an ocean ruin, but a shipwreck. Maybe an armor trim? Oh, yes. Yo, let's go. Please with that, but it's not what I'm looking for looking for. Nor is that weird floating thing. Yep, yeah, Minecraft be kind of weird sometimes. Um, hello. World's smallest ocean ruin. Mending fishing rod, I'll take it. Sorry, sir, I'm looking for your sussy sand. Oh, yes. What's it gonna be? Some wheat. Okay, we'll try again. A gold nugget. Oh, God. I'm looking for sniffer eggs. Okay, it's just another gold nugget. Ooh, pottery shirt, though. That's kind of cool. Right, I'm pretty sure this is our last shot at a sniffer egg, and it's just another gold nugget. Okay, I think I'm gonna look for another one. Oh, jeez. Ooh, goat horn. Oh my god, I think we got it! Yes! Now I just gotta find one more. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Pick it up, pick it up. All right, well, I made it back home and here's all the cool loot we found. But mainly two sniffer eggs, let's go. Right, I'm gonna get myself sorted out a little bit and then we gotta find somewhere to build. All right, so I think I got a bunch of stuff sorted out now. So there is one more thing I'm gonna need. Now, if we walk straight through this portal, we've got my moss farm. So I'm gonna grab a stack of this and fly off to find a spot for our build. I'm thinking I wanna be sort of near a flower forest. We've got quite a bit of that around here, but I do have plans for this area for another episode. So I think we're gonna fly off in this direction. And is that a flower forest right there? Oh, I think it is. Yeah, I think this is going to be a great spot. And it's really close to home, which is super nice. So I think when we've got that clear area up there, I think that's a good spot for the build. But before we can actually start building, I do want to start sorting out these sniffer eggs. I think it's going to come into the flower forest here. Let me dig out a little bit of this. I'm going to take these fences here and make a little pen. And we'll get a gate right there. Now, if I take this moss and put it in the ground here, we can finally take our sniffer eggs place them on top of the moss, and that should make them hatch quicker. I'm not sure how much quicker, but I didn't get that far reading the wiki. So I guess I'm just going to stand around and wait for these guys to hatch. A few moments later. Oh. Oh, it's cracking. Been nowhere near 10 minutes. One eternity later. Oh, another phase of cracking. Oh, and that one as well. Mm, but how many phases are there? So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. Oh my god. Sniffer. It's a baby sniffer. Oh my god, look at him. And another one. Oh, these guys are so cute. We need to name them. Quickly, back home. I forgot to bring name tags. All right, back at the start of village. And I think this guy sells name tags. Yes. Give me a couple of those. And I've got to pick a couple of names from this week's community post. We got Snot from Noxatine and Snoot from Rhea. Massive thank you to everyone that suggested names. And make sure you're subscribed so you can see the next community post. But with that out of the way, we should be able to name these guys. So we've got Snot and snoot oh yes so good Aww. i'm still waiting for the seeds though do they only get seeds when they're adults yeah probably and i guess while we're waiting for them i did have plans to try and build a sniffer farm so i think that's what we're going to work on now all right it's been a little while now and i've gathered everything that i'm going to need to build the farm and these guys still haven't grown up so i'm going to grab this head down over this way i think going to clear out a little area and we're going to get this thing built time lapse <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, the farm is done. And we've got Snoot and Snot, who apparently still haven't grown up yet. But once they do, they just start sniffing for some seeds. That minecart should pick them up and put them in this chest there. So I'm just going to hang around here for a little bit. Wait for these bozos to grow up. Come on, you got jobs to do, gentlemen. Can't be children forever. So yeah, I'm going to chill here for a bit. And I'll bring you back when these guys buck their ideas up. Please stay away from the sniffers. They're my new friends. And you guys most certainly are not. Yep, especially you. See ya. Oop, I gave him my ender chest. Please let me grab it. Oh dear. Yep, okay, bye. And they've still not grown up. Oh my god, it's a centipede. Oh, one's grown up. I was playing games on my phone. Um, my god, he is a big chunk. Is that the other one? Snoo, I knew you'd grow up first. You're clearly the most mature. Oh my god, he's sniffing. It's not a sniffing. Dig seed. Oh, oh, the seed. Pick it up. The minecart got it. Here, have a flower. <gasps> Pitcher pod. Okay. Oh, they are really sniffing now. They are really sniffing. Oh, God, he's sucking me in. Okay, guys, like more seeds now, though. More seeds. Oh, he's doing it. It's inside his head. There it is. Thank you. Now, I know you can breed these guys with the seeds. I'm just not sure which one it is. Yep, of course, it's the other one. Um, Great. All right, lads, two of the other seeds then, please. Yep, don't sniff me. That is... Absolutely not helpful. All right, be right back. Bruh. Oh, you're very pleased with yourself, aren't you? What is it? <gasps> Taught flower seed, yes. Yo, okay, we just need one more. We just need one more. Come on, lads, I believe. Okay, this is it. One torch flower. Come on, minecart. Thank you. Two torch flower seeds. All right. Snoot and snot, you're having a baby. Where's the baby? Hello? What the hell is it? Uh, I see how it is. So I guess that means I'm going to put this fence back and do that. Oh, geez. Right. Yep. This is going to be a grind, isn't it? All right. Well, I think I'm going to AFK this thing overnight. I'll keep trying to breed these guys up and hatch the eggs. So I'll see you in like, I don't know, 16 hours or maybe one of these. Oh, hello. Yep. It's a... Uh, it's been a couple of days. And as you can see, we got a whole bunch of sniffers now. And not only that, look at all these seeds. So, yep, turns out these farms aren't really that efficient. But, you know, it's worked. It's worked. I definitely could have got a whole bunch more sniffers in here. And, of course, this farm is super expandable. But for now, I think it's time we can actually start working on the building and working out our block palette. But to do that, I think we're going to need to take a closer look at the sniffer. Now, as you can see here from this lovely sniffer model, we have a lot of this green, a whole bunch of this red, and a bunch of yellow. Ew! So, with that, let's hop into a test world and try figure out a block palette. All right, so for the red, I was thinking of maybe using this mangrove wood. So I've not really built much with it before, so I think that could be pretty nice. And I guess it matches the sniffer color pretty well. Now, uh, what about green? Hmm, maybe some of this green wool? Oh, moss. Yo, okay. And I guess if we have moss, we can bone meal it. Oh, it's spread everywhere. So that could be kind of cool. And we've also got yellow. Hmm, wait for it. How about my new favorite block in the game? Bamboo. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I like that. Okay, and quite a lot of this will be pretty easy to get. We've obviously got a bamboo farm. We got a farm for the moss. So the only things we need to money collect is this mangrove and this green wool. All right, back to the hardcore world. Woo! Okay, so I've made it back over to the jungle village. And that's because first on my checklist is mangrove wood. And somewhere around here is the gigantic mangrove biome. Yes, over there. So I think I'm going to need quite a few stacks of this stuff. And thankfully, it's really easy to chop down. <laughs> oh dear, this is going to be annoying. Right, hopefully that's going to be enough because I do not want to farm any more of that. Oh, geez, that's so boring. All right, now where's the jungle village? Oh, there we are. We'll come to the bamboo farm and craft a bunch of bamboo. Now to head to the moss farm. I'm so glad we don't need to go through the overworld anymore. All right, here we are at the moss farm. Ow. And do we have much bone meal in here? Eh, there's a bit. All right, let's get this thing running. We'll just quickly nip up to Frank and grab some of his bones. Thank you, Frank. All right, that should keep this thing running for a little bit. And finally, we just got to nip back to the base. We're in my dye box. Oh, I've only got eight green dye. Um, right. Cactus. Yes, yeah, smelt it. All right, that's probably good. All right, now we can turn a bunch of these sheep green. Oh, geez, and I've got no iron to make shears. Oh, God, I'm so poor. Come on, give me the iron. Oh, finally. All right, let's get out of here. We'll grab our fortune pick, break all this up, and great, we got 11 iron. Oh, God. Right, I'm going to spend a bit of time farming some green wool, and I'll see you when I think I've got enough. Goddamn donkey! <laughs> Okay, I think that's going to be enough green wool. Now I've just got to pay one more visit to the moss farm. Hopefully that's generated enough moss for us. Straight through the hole. 
Ow. All right, yeah, I think this is going to be good. If anything, that's probably too much. All right, back to the build. All right, so I'm back at the build location, and our sniffer farm is just through there. And I think on top of this hill is where I want to build the actual build. And while we sort this out, I'm going to talk about what it is that I actually do want to build. I want to use the blocks that we gathered to create a big red barn, sort of like the things that you see in, I don't know, America, I think. Well, at least I know what I'm talking about. I'm sure I've done an awful job at explaining that. But quite quickly, you're going to see what I'm talking about. So I think I want the middle to be around here. I'm going to come out seven on this side, another seven on this side. And I want to bring this right the way back. Yep, I think that's going to be far enough. So now we just got to connect all this up. Very good. Now I'm just going to bring this thing up by maybe another seven or eight blocks. So let's get that done. Yep, I did not get enough mangrove wood. Oh, I didn't think I'd be back here so soon. Oh, I hope that's enough. Right, thankfully that was enough. And this thing is looking pretty massive, but it's also looking pretty plain. Now, I want to start getting some texture in this thing and also start working on the trim, which I think I want to make out of white blocks. I'm going to grab a few more rockets and quickly fly back to the base. So I'm thinking I want to make the white trim out of diorite and probably some quartz. Let me dump out some of this rubbish. Right, I'm pretty sure I got some diorite in the base. Um, Brilliant, one diorite. Oh, a little bit more. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. All right, we got all that. One thing I definitely don't have, though, is quartz. So we're going to grab that from the nether. I think I have to fly away a little bit to find some. Man, I hate the nether. All right, here we go. Fresh quartz. I'm going to need quite a lot of this. Oh, but we can fortune it as well, can't we? That's pretty good. All right, that's almost three stacks. I think by the time we fortune that, that should be pretty good. And you know what? I wonder if this nether wrap would look good with a mangrove. We are definitely going to have to give that a go. But I'm going to process up all this quartz, and I'll see you back at the build site. Okay, here we are. i got all the white blocks that I think we're going to need. I'm going to start out by tearing out these corners and replacing them with a mix of our white blocks here, just like that. That's looking cool. So I need to do that on all the corners and try to figure out a similar trim for the roof. Okay, look at that. we got all the trim in now. This is starting to look a lot more like a barn. We definitely can't have a barn without an entrance. So we've got a little five wide thing there. Going to put a white trim on the top. Put some slabs on either end. Yes, that's looking nice. I'm thinking maybe a window above that as well. Maybe like around here. Yeah, nice. Like a nice three by five. Right, I'm going to get some stairs in the corners. I've got some iron trap doors somewhere. Where do I put them? Yep, there we go. Right, please land in this window. You got it. Damn it. This time... All right, this will do. Just put them here and just along the bottom. Oh, yeah, I need levers, damn it. Um, right, two cobble, get some sticks, and two levers. All right, lever here and here. Oh, yes, yeah, so the window's got a nice little trim now. Oh, I like that. Right, next up, I'm going to start working on the roof, which, as you might have guessed, I want to fill in with this moss. So I'm going to get that done. There we go. Now, if we take a step back here, the barn should be looking a little bit like a sniffer. Yeah, look at that. We've got the red body and the green on the top. Sniffer barn's coming to life. Though this whole thing is still looking pretty plain, especially the red part. Now, I want to come take this nether rack. We'll craft up a bunch of these planks as well. And my thought was, if we knock out some of this corner, we put in this nether rack. That looks like it's dirtied up a little bit. But if we come in and then take out these blocks here and put the planks, it should blend in a little bit more. I'm going to take a quick step back and check that. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That is real nice. I like like that. Why don't you try a bit underneath the window there? Look, I'm going to shoot you before you shoot me. See ya. Okay, so let's knock out some of this. Put in our nether rack and then our planks. Right, this should look pretty cool. And cut open is looking like dirt coming down from the bottom of the window. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that is good. I like that. Other than all these random blocks. I can't waste this precious mangrove. It's too annoying to chop down. But I think with that looking good, I'm going to try and texture up the rest of this building, at least in the spots where I think it needs it. But once that's done, we can start moving on to the next phase of detailing. So yeah, I'll see you once all this texturing's done. All right, got this thing textured up now. You can see I got some dirt dripping from the top of the roof. We got something similar on on this side and also on this side and well we don't talk about the back whoopsie but the next phase of detailing is going to require a little bit of spruce which i have absolutely loads of at the base so we're gonna pop in here oh chicken baby chicken that was weird um <laughs> we'll grab a few stacks of this and fly all the way back all oh, that is starting to take shape you know i'm liking it but i'm gonna craft a bunch of this into planks make a bunch of trapdoors make a bunch of stairs a bunch of slabs oh, i think that'll be all right for now i want to come on the front here and put these trapdoors just like that on that side and on this side we're gonna put them this way around flip them down cool and now we've got like a nice open door i'm gonna pillar up here to the window we'll put some shutters on this side and on here oh you know what? Let's put another little canopy thing above the window. Nice. Oh, actually, I'm going to break this one. Okay, we'll slab, a couple of logs, strip them. We'll have a stair, maybe a couple of trap doors, and on the side. If I craft a few of these fences. Ow! Hello? God damn it. I'm trying to build. Oh, jeez, it's a mob farm. 
Anyway, like I was saying, get these fences, bring them down a couple. And if I put a slab here with some trapdoors on the sides, so we might have to use our imagination a little bit here. It is Minecraft after all, but it's meant to be like a little crane, right? Yeah, it's a crane. Next up though, I've got some plans for the interior. So this is going to take a little bit of figuring out. So I think we're going to do this one in a time lapse. Let's do it. All right, here's the interior looking super nice. I'm loving how cozy this is. And as you can see, we've got room for six different sniffers. All that's left to do is to craft some fence gates. So let's get a load of these in. And I'm gonna grab some moss. And just for now, I'm gonna put one moss in each pen because to populate this barn with sniffers, we're gonna fly down to the sniffer farm and we're gonna need to get six sniffer eggs. Time to breed up everyone. Give me your eggs. I don't think we've got enough sniffers to get six, but I think the minecart might be picking up the eggs. Oh, I got two. Oh, there we go, two more eggs. Right, I'll we'll have to breed up some more of those later. But for now, let's get these sniffer eggs in. One, two, three, and four. All right, those guys will hatch up eventually. For the next step, though, I'm going to need a bit more spruce wood. And obviously, I've not brought enough. All right, here we are. Give me some of this. And I'll take some of this glass and some lime dye. I want to make a bunch of lime glass. And that's because there's another building that I want to attach onto our barn. I'm thinking it's going to be on this side here. So let's get that built up. Okay, and here we have our sniffer nursery. I think it looks pretty nice on the side of the barn. Like a sort of greenhouse kind of thing. And we managed to implement the yellow of the sniffer. And not only that, it has a moss floor, so eggs are going to grow up super quick in here. Yep, I missed a spot. But yeah, now we've got a nice place to grow up our sniffers. I'd say this build is pretty near completion. The only thing that is missing is a bit of life. I want to come in here and grab a bunch of these leaves. Start coming in here and making a bit of an outline. So I'm sure a few of you are wondering why I wanted so many of those sniffer seeds. And that's because I want to make some flower fields that are surrounding our sniffer barn. Oh, someone grown up. Oh, they've all grown up. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Yes, you are very cute when you're small. But if I just fly down here and grab some water and start grabbing some of these seeds from the sniffer farm, I can get to planting some fields. So I want to get both the sniffer plants in. And I also might use some of these two tall flowers as well. I'll see how much I manage to get done with the time that I got. But I think we're going to kick it into one big time lapse here. One giant field time lapse. Oh, this is going to take a while. Oh, wow, look at the difference these fields are made. Oh, this is so cool. And look at these new flowers. Bro, you don't get the seed back. Oh, man, that sucks. Well, I do want to grab a few of these. I'm going to grab a few of these ones as well. Pitcher plant. Oh, these don't give the seeds back either. Yeah, that is a shame. Oh, but not to worry. We've got the sniffer farm. Let's make sure we replant these. Because there is something cool I want to do with these new plants. But first, I must replant them. Because I want my fields to keep looking pretty. But with that done, I want to fly up onto the roof here. And because we've made it moss, it means that we can bone meal it. So let's sprinkle some of this around. Oh, yeah, that's looking cool. But now we can come in and start throwing in some of our new sniffer plants. We'll just sprinkle them around randomly. All right, let's fly down and take a look. Oh, yo. Okay. Yeah, that looks so cool. You can see all the sniffer plants on there. Now, so at this point, I'm realizing I've not used any of this green wool. But honestly, now we've added the plants, I think that's going to be too busy if we use it. So I think we'll leave the roof as it is. Last thing, though, I do want to just breed a couple more of these guys. Please, eggs. I need eggs. Thank you. Now, I need these because we've just got one last thing to do today. That is put two more eggs in here and well i suppose we should put one in the nursery as well so there you go i think i'm gonna call this episode good if you enjoyed it leave a like and if you super enjoyed it well then consider subscribing i'll see you in the next one bye